Oh my, hello. Oh, embarrassing. Late. That was terrible. Uh, my wife like spilled like six eggs. That's why I was late. Um, I'll say that. No. I guess she has to get more eggs. Uh, that's uh, that's a thing. Yeah. Hey, later than I thought I'd be. Much like I mean I. Yeah, I told people that you spilt eggs. I told you, yeah, all one people that are here. My wife is not mad that uh, I told you people that she spilt eggs. Anywho, is there music? Sure, probably. There we go. We click on something. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Yes, there we go. Uh, what happened? Oh, that's right. We were in Heimdall. Um, and... Oh, it's like uh, all the bidets. Uh, they blew up, um, and then someone stole two two little girls, uh, my sister Elise, and uh, and then uh, someone the princess gone. It, it's like Bowser is attacked, um, and we essentially need to get to the bottom of it. So that's where we are at, essentially, um, right there. Just I, I, they took off so. We were at the, um, if you can see above, uh, yeah, well, it's just light. Uh, we were at the, we were at a garden party, is what happened. And, um, they sort of made a, a mess of it. So here we are, we're stuck in it, and we're gonna go save, uh, the people. At least I think that's what we're gonna do. Not that, not that, not that. It's like the eighth button. Oh, the tur the terrorists. I, I read that as tourists. It says terrorists. Regardless. We're gonna go get them. Uh, it was Gideon and a couple of other people flowing with it. So off we go. Let's let's go see. Uh, what what party do we have? I didn't even check it out. Uh, pretty normal. Me, Laura, myself, Machius, and Elliot. Uh, group B was not around. Vic, I'm ready for one of my favorite. It's good. I love I love fun moments uh, in trails. Uh, they're always good. Um, some great moments have been happening. Oh my god. See, I thought when we stopped last, uh, that was gonna be like the end of the chapter. You could have flowed this in. So this is like a nice little up and coming moment. So uh, is this one of the passages beneath the city? It looks like it. And judging by the direction it leads, I don't think it's an area we've been before. Oh, I'm sure it uh, probably connects in some way, shape or form. And I don't sense any traps, except our Arcus is are going crazy. Hello, this is Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, it's me, Sarah. Governor told me about what happened. Give me a full update on the situation. Well, our targets are Gideon and two other armed terrorists. They've abducted Princess Alfin and Elise, and we're pursuing them through the underground tunnel as we speak. We're doing all we can to catch up with them, except, you know, you talking to us on the phone is slowing us down and taking ever so much longer than it should. Understood. I'm making my way there as fast as I can, and I've got the RMP in tow. Keep up the pursuit and try to stall them so we can get there. But don't do anything that would put the hostages in danger. Their safety is our top priority. I still can't get over the size of that phone. It is like literally if they just had a giant tablet. Like, I mean, look, I get it. Does this look giant next to my hand? Maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe. But it, that thing is like, he's got like two of these like on top like this here's one here and then picture like one was like up here and then he's just like yep and it flips out like sure okay i know we're in the, in the world of of flippy phones and they open up like a little book thing sure i got it but um not yet anyways how was vic's uh weekend uh i didn't see you yesterday so how are you uh we won't let them get away that's right machius we will not we have uh your, your dad was he either shot or was he just injured somewhat like uh didn't know they have Humvees. Orbital powered Humvees. I feel like that's a lot of waste of sp Oh, I guess there's like maybe a, a bunch of troops in the back. We'll be arriving in 10 minutes. Until then, all we can do is hope that they can pursue the terrorists on their own. I hate to admit it, but I doubt there's anything else we can do right now. I'm glad to see the RMP living up to their sterling reputation, though. It sounds like you guys handled the attacks at the racetrack and the cathedral like seasoned pros. Well, 
None of the Imperial Guardsmen were stationed in those areas. And we did receive invaluable assistance from Group B. Hurry now, later. I gotta get, I gotta get later? for dinner. You could just accept a compliment when it's given, you know. So, how much of an idea did he have that the terrorist real target was going to be the garden party? No. I bet you had more than just a hunch. With that horrible calculator, you've got a brain. Right, Miss Icy Maiden? No. I estimated the chances at roughly 40%. Is this like maybe where she pulls like a, a, a big U-turn and goes, <laughs> It was me all along, Captain Claire. I planned it. I'm part of it. Targeting the garden party would make the biggest spectacle after all. I believe their aim is to harm the reformist public image, which means her highness should be safe. Unfortunately, I can't be so certain about the girl with her. Huh. And that's why we'll probably never see eye to eye. So who's the back and the toe? Just a couple of... A couple of guys, I guess? Yeah, those damn terrorists! Yeah, I get, I get you. It's always the terrorists. Princess Elfin, please be safe. I'm sure they're fine. I mean, if not, they're they're dead, right? Monsters! Oh, watch out for them. We'll just run our way through. Monsters! There we go. Ooh, a couple of death blows. I'll take that. Gotcha. Go. Of course. Oh, I was I was under the impression I was like, oh god, if that misses, does do they get the Leave it to me. Exactly. There we go. Okay. Now I wonder, I do have the one thing um that pops up. Um, I believe it's uh Reen that's got it. If I if I kill someone I, I automatically analyze them, but I wonder if that's if it's like Vic, do you know? This I'll sh I'll show you the quartz that we have on, on our good friend here. I believe it's the Maybe we took it. No, Dragon Vision, that's it. Automatically analyzes defeated enemies. Now does that have to be an enemy defeated by Reen or just the group? That's where I'm uh just trying to figure that out. Oh, but did I miss something? There could have been like a barrel or something. There's a lot of bugs in here. I mean, at least the area is well lit. So, you know, whoever's going down here to check these lamps every once in a while, they're, they're certainly making sure that they're taking care of things. Uh-oh. The proper underground depths. You gonna turn around? Right as I'm gonna smack you? Damn right you are. Status again. These are these are all brand new things. All brand new. Now I wonder if I use a craft. Here. I wonder if that doubles over. Oh, it certainly did something. It certainly did something. Go. Ha! Leave it to me. Exactly. Go. I feel so bad about these peeps. You know, they're just, they're, okay. they, they ain't gonna be living. They ain't gonna be attacking either. Gotcha. It's over. There we go. Now that's what we like to see. Evil will fall before Beautiful. Beautiful. Again, she, I think she just puts that away like in her butt somewhere. I could be wrong. I could be the wrong one. A little globby fat. I wonder if I should make some food while we are down here. I mean, you know, some, some good food. Um, that's not the, that's not the, no, that, I am a, such a mess with this controller. Uh, not necessarily like the controller per se, but I mean like the whole, what are the Lionheart medals? I don't have any of those yet. Huh. Oh, that's usually the one I have is this one. Okay. Um, recipes. We got some new things, some crispy pizza. Love to make some crispy pizza. Who who loves to make it? Um, let's give it to Machias and uh, and Reen. I think we can make you know a couple. Who will do the cooking? Yes, buddy. All right, I'll give it a try. Hey. Perfect. I suppose this will do. Okay. Very good. Roasted coffee. Also good. Uh, and Machias right, is also gonna be. Is it always Reen and and I guess it has to be right. Uh, tomato gratin. Always making two of everything. Um, 
Christmas there we go. Yay. Yes, buddy. Did you poop? Oh, this looks pretty nice. Of course you pooped. All right, can you just, uh, let me finish this? Um, all right, Laura or Fee. You know, I'll throw it in with Laura. You know, everyone loves cooking a couple times out in here and there. Um, okay, that was it. We made, we made some some nice new things. That was great. Um, oh, I have to remember there are people who uh, we have to go to to uh, hand off the peculiar dishes. I can't remember who they are though. Hold on, I'll do it in a second. Uh, where are we? Oh, this looks very reminiscent of the old Trails games, uh, Trails in the Sky games of where like you reached under an area. Oh, the catacombs. Nothing to do with a comb there, folks. It's really creepy. I had no idea a place like this existed beneath the capital. It appears to be a catacomb built during the Dark Ages. Uh, what are you doing, Fee? Well, they definitely came this way, and I don't think it was that long ago. Oh, right. You can tell from their footprints. Okay, then we just need to keep heading this way. Follow me. Right. Ready to go. Onward. What, Fee doesn't have anything to say on that? Guess not. Oh. Boy, they were, like, running really weirdly there. That looked funny. Everything's proceeding just as I'd planned. If we can make it out of these tunnels, we'll be achieved all we set out to accomplish here. All right. Not bad for a first mission. What are you planning? What do you hope to accomplish by abducting us? It appears that you're interested in trying to ransom me back to my father for money. I ask that you remain patient for just a short while longer. We are but humble patriots who respect and honor the traditions and values of our country. We would never do anything to harm one of the bloodlines that symbolizes that very nation. Okay, that's weird. The guys didn't glitch running like they did. Oh, so well, it did look weird. But I was going to say, so I have special K running. And I have it so like it locks the frame rate, so maybe that's why they didn't glitch run, but maybe that's why they looked weird, is because it's a known... It might be a known thing that, like, because it's locked at a frame rate, it, it probably just looked weird to me, but didn't glitch like it would for anybody else, I guess. Because I, it's funny, I, I, I had found the game had done weird things like that, and I was like, uh, I went on, and, and a lot of people said, go get that, like, not even this, it's not even any problems really i never had a problem with it but i just noticed a couple things and people had noticed like um if you lock the frame rate via special k or there's a couple other programs that do that um it sort of will prevent that from happening so i was like okay and it works on a bunch of other games it's like a whole front end thing type of thing so um but don't misunderstand me feel no sense of brotherhood with this aristocracy uh the vast majority among us are of common birth self-included however there is a certain man among you who I'm afraid we simply cannot allow to remain alive. But who do you mean? If that's what you want, then let her highness go. If you need a hostage, you can injure. I should be enough. Elise. Oh, what is your name, little one? Serving as her highness's attendant, I assume you must be of high social standing, no? Hey, Q. Good afternoon. Actually, I could say that that pretty much does apply, I think. Pretty close. It's almost noon. It's almost it's almost that time. How are you? Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Teo Schwarzer and lord of the northern region of Ymir. No. No suckies. I may not be of particularly high rank, but I am still of noble birth. If you need a hostage, use me instead. Elise! Haha, <laughs> well, aren't you a fascinating young lady? We seem to have picked up quite the unexpected gambit. Now, how shall we use it? No suckies. Alright, I've got to change my son's butt. Give me like a hot second. I'll be right back. Sorry, it sucks to have to have a break right now, but two seconds, please.
restrain me. You can search me. I'll give it all up just to be with you. I'm so happy. Now you got me. I- I'll surrender all my love to you. Don't you see what you're doing to me? I'm in love and I can't break free. Now I'm begging with you, baby. Please don't leave me hanging. Oh, oh, oh. It's a lockdown, baby. You drive me crazy. Ain't no escaping. Your love has got me doing time. You're my attorney, my judge and jury. I'm pleading guilty, so lock me up and go with the keys. Oh, 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 yeah. I said lock me up and go with the keys. Yeah. Back, promised. Oh, I didn't want to do that. It's a weird throw. See, that's one thing I actually wish Special K could do. It's sort of like an older game. I've tried it with Borderless Window. That didn't work. But like, usually most of my games are pretty flawless and are able to, to deal with multiple monitors. This game does not like it. So as you can see, like it sort of pauses itself. And some games, like Persona 4 Golden, gave you the option of pausing it if it was. Uh, separated like that, but this game does not like it. So I I've been told on uh, the internet that that changes uh, over more games. So uh, good to see it, cute. By the way, I thought I saw something just crawled up around there, but uh... so oh, I was gonna say that's either monsters or or uh, some type of Humvee. Okay, just don't even have an opportunity, just throwing into it. That's okay. Um, what are we doing here? We are going to get the, uh, mm-hmm. That'll work for everybody. Get that all up. Yeah, come on in and attack with some weird devil beam. That was really mean. Yeah. Really mean. Didn't like that. Oh, you know, okay, you're gonna do it a co- Oh, jeez, you've almost murdered uh, my friend. Okay, just like that. Could you imagine? Just like right off the hop, we're both just dead. Um, okay, not far enough. Who's gonna be acting? Okay, I'd love to get your... So, okay, every time I look at these ones, I, I see, like, that arrow, and I know it's it's not really the right way, um, but I, if I could just not move from where I am, it'd be great. I need to do something. There we go. Okay, yes, now we need to, uh, what sounds like is probably heal people. Um, who's got some heals? I, you know what? I think that I think the swap can work a little bit better for him. He's got some way better heals. Um, you know, like this um, holy song. That's great for everybody. Oh, he, oh, are you kidding me? So you can throw that on. Okay, throw that on. Need to get him moved up a little bit, but um Okay, now what's next? Um Jeez. I do not like that burn. Ugh. Hey Boris, welcome back, buddy. Good to see you. We're 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 entering back on into the catacombs. Hopefully, hopefully all will go well. Hopeful, hopeful, hopeful. If I can speak, uh, usually I can't speak. You know, it's a the whole production. Um, but I think we're doing okay. Outside of Reen, you know, maybe he could you know he could use a couple here and there. Some some life back on into it. Um. Oh, just, that's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Um, oh, they hate they hate that move though. Um, I don't know if he's got any. He doesn't. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, so it's him. Ah! 
There we go. See that those delays, some of them just don't just don't work. Some of them just don't work. Again, not that I mind, but uh Here we go. Ow. Okay. I mean, did, did, you, did you have to go and be that rude about that? Monsters got delay resistant. Oh, you, see, had I looked at this, I know that my beautiful face probably covers that up. But uh, had I looked, I would have seen that it says delay down. Well, I guess it's a 50% shot. Back, by the way, what's the song called used for your beer? It's called Lockdown. Lockdown. Um, all right, you're like still on fire, but uh, I, I think we're okay with that. Can we can we reach both? Of course we can. Laura's just ever so brilliant. Oh, are you, are you, are you one of these things that blow up at me? Oh, so all delay moves are cut by 50. Oh, thank you. That, I always need a little bit of help here. You know, just a little bit uh, to help me out there. That's, uh, that's very nice of you to, to help me out. Um, so can we seal this guy? Okay, so a seal is gonna work half the time as well, but th this move is ever so good. I think. All right, let's do this. Oh, lockdown by who? Sorry. Uh, give me a, give me a, give me a hot second. I was gonna look. I have it, but I can find out right here. It's two people. If I can find it. That is not it. Yeah, I, I apologize because there's a few lockdown songs. Um, way too many lockdown songs. Oh, for God's sakes. So now the problem is like you put down lockdown song and everyone's like, oh, it's like... Uh, Uh, Lockdown by Dave James, Adam Skinner, and Dan Skinner. Right. All right, now do we need some? Do we need some more healing? No. Like I mean, I know he's got. I think he's got that Fortuna. No, he doesn't have that. But everyone's pretty. Everyone's pretty good. Uh, this is gonna do wonderful stuff, though. He hates this stuff. There we go. There's the magic we were looking for. Okay. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, Fee. Same for seals. This is 50% on the monster. Reen's craft will go from 30 to 50. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, thank you. So it's not it's not the way of like a percentage in that way, but it's a it's it's take the hit percent. Uh, okay, I get it. I might not be making sense of it, but I I, I understand. Thank you. I got gotcha. you. Hey, leveling up. That's happening. Uh, that was scary. There seemed to be some strange force at work making things difficult for us during the fight. The way they appeared was weird, too. It's like they were waiting to ambush us. Perhaps it was due to that man Gideon's power. Or rather, that flute he holds. Yeah. That flute seems to give off some potent vibes. I've heard that some powerful relics from antiquity are still around. Wonder if that's one of those artifacts. Well, we're gonna have to deal with it one way or another. All right. Well, how nice of them to offer, uh, you know, a, a rest point. Yeah, I was just gonna say I think this is one of those those beautiful ones, but uh, yeah, we don't really need to do anything else. We, we've already made some nice weapons and everything else, so we're all set with that. To figure out life, so. Off we go. Oh! I didn't expect us to be, like, so close to them. Yeah, that, that, that'll work, right? Some warning shots. What? <laughs> Eat that! Shit! 
What? Rain. I actually didn't expect us to catch this guy. Like, I thought he'd get away, drop another monster. Now, mind you, there's still time for that to happen, obviously. Uh, Elliot's and Emma's detection is a nice craft. It gives you info and lowers enemy stats to death down and it's defense down too. Art's defense too. Okay. You came for us! Of course I would. Show's over. Let her highness and Elise go. Now. Considering all that you've done, I can't say I'd be entirely comfortable letting you go free. But if you release them, we might be willing to consider it. Uh, no, he's caused some crimes, like, we can't just let this slide type of thing. Now, considering the last few people that this guy hung out with got eaten by a spider, so it, it is still a possibility he does make off, which I'm going to assume he pulls some fast ones. It's five against three. Oh, you've got no chance. Netflix? Oh, good old Flex Seal commercials. I miss those. And fleeing while trying to carry two hostages? I don't think that'll work out too well for you. Corey Carson? Corey Carson? Find something you see? Chrissy? There you go. Okay. There you go. So, would you please just let him go? Oh. At least Elliot's just uh, still very much of like, you, you please let him go, right? Like, don't worry about this. I have no idea Thor's was educating such gifted. There's a few of us pretty, pretty gifted here. Look, we can keep this stalemate going all day, or you can release them. You know, what I thought was going to happen there was when we surround him. I thought uh, I thought Reen was going to go crazy again. Uh, we've only seen it once. In the 80 hours we've been playing, now uh, there's a Jordan multiplier there, so don't don't get all crazy about the hours there. Um, but uh, his hair went gray, much like mine used to be, um, and he, he has a scar on his chest that like glowed or did something. So um, yeah, there was. I thought that's what was happening. So he goes crazy. Either of them, you wish the police found you before I did. Oh, it's threatening. Uh, you. Rain. Rain. Very well. We surrender. I okay. I didn't see that coming. I'm not so proud that I can't see when we have no chance of victory. And you can stack the fifty percent defense down if you do it one more time. The debuff runs out. Same as for the buffs. Okay. Mm. So you'll let them go? Absolutely. If you can defeat him. Oh, I, I, I knew there was a, a nipple twist in there. Do it. Here, smell this rag for me, please. <laughs> Son of a... A volatile anesthetic? <laughs> Fear not. I simply thought it best they sleep for a short while. After all, this is hardly a sight fit for the eyes of such innocent maidens. You say so. Damn it! <laughs> Another monster? He does have a few of those. I can't remember, did he do this for the spider guy as well? And even though they ate two of his friends? I, I guess they're not friends. There's people who work for him, but... A howl? This roar. Um... If this thing puts skin back on, I'm a little, uh... I'm a little concerned. It's five o'clock? Not yet. I mean, it is almost, like, 15 minutes, give or take. How are you? Uh, just water, agua, or vodka, but... Base it however you'd like. How are you? The Dark Dragoon of Ruination something 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 something. Just had dinner. I mean that is fitting for a senior citizen like yourself. It's it's like isn't it 445? 
Back to the home you go. A post-dinner decaf coffee. There you go. A oh, 5.45, sorry, sorry. A bone dragon? A boner drag. Where's the mayor of Bonerville when a boner dragon's coming out? Uh, no, if you remember the first field study boss, Elliot told the party he had heard Melody plant. That's, oh, so, that's right. So we didn't see him doing it, but he pretty much did call that spider if we, if we do the math on that one. <laughs> we just didn't know the... The demonic flute. We didn't know that it was a demonic flute. Thank you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you guys would know. I mean, it is a pretty starking difference, right? I mean, I think I go back to my 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 younger, like what? I probably removed 20 years here, don't I? I don't know. An artifact capable of holding even the should have went with purple, right, cat? During the dark ages in its now, I, I couldn't go crazy colors, cause uh, or blue, yeah. Uh, apparently, I'm getting some pictures done. Uh, you know, them family pictures that happen when you have children, whatnot, on the weekend. So, oh, you just you are you just like running like away? Who are you? And what did you do to join? I mean, it's I used to do it a lot more often. What I wanted to do beforehand, um, there's no way we could take on that. I was letting it sort of grow out, and I wanted to see if I had the full salt and pepper effect going on. Like you can tell, like. On the side, it was really gray or, or white or whatever you want to say. And at the top, it wasn't as bad. I was I was hoping it was so that it was all just going to be like salt and pepper look, and it didn't really work out that way. So, hence why I went back to diet. So I'm not I'm not an old person for the showing of my my hair color. Maybe I'll go back and I'll get uh, I'll be back to getting um ID'd right back at uh, buying the booze. No, yes, buddy. Oh, is he going crazy again? Oh, I thought he was going crazy again. Is he going crazy? I still don't understand. They haven't explained this 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 him going craziness and going gray haired. We're not just going to roll over and die here. If you think back on how much we've grown just during this field study, there's no way this thing is going to take us down. My blade is yeah, ready. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Too impetuous to know Wait, so they're are they are they still taking down? Like I like so they went from yeah, we'll surrender if you can take care of him, but and, and now they're gonna run off because we have to go deal with a, a a boner dragon. Go dark time Oh, I mean I feel uh obviously, um first of all, let's get a prediction out. Um it's been a while. I wish I actually I know I can do a prediction. Why boner dragon because I, I say funny things like that all the time. And it makes sense. So, um, manage prediction. Let's see. Start a prediction. Um, will any party members die in the boss fight? Yes or no? Uh, let's take that down to two minutes. There we go. That's got to that, That'll work. Uh, they are not so nice to wait for you to finish the dragon, right? I mean, do you think? But so the dragon is. Um, you know, he's got, um, he's bone, right? So does, does that mean he's got... Does that mean he has a penis? Or, like, is he all pen... Best not to think of, of, of all that, right? Bring down the merciless so yeah, throw that off. Some prediction points with the P points. Bring it on out there, folks, if you, if you, you, you want to make some, some, some points. Oh, he roar. Okay, well, you know he's roaring. I'll wait until we start up before every, you know, the predictions are happening. If there's anybody willing, at all. Forgot to add points. Wait, did I did I do something wrong? Oh, you you pick you. <laughs> I was gonna say you picked one, but you didn't. But you didn't use any points? Well, that's funny. Yes, I know, I know you can't, uh, they, they, they see that as gambling. <laughs> 
it's funny that you can still you can still pick them that's okay I just thought I'd throw it out because I remembered that's okay all right um starting off with the bone dragon um let's just go in and see what uh, everyone is uh, I've already forgotten what everything is said uh, something about Elliot and somebody else um who do I think is gonna oh it could be anybody it literally could be anybody um I actually don't have a, a pick. Um, could be anybody at the at the front. Usually, usually it's Fee, because, well, she's she's got the lowest, but she also has the evasion up quite a bit. So, um, there you go. We'll see. I mean, as in any Trails games, what we do on my side is we always are, uh, we're, we're, we're chrono, uh, you know, uh, speeding up. I, I used to have a saying for it, Baker would tell me, he, he, I would I would say it, because like, uh, we would always use chrono up, chrono, whatever. It was it was always a thing, always. Um, I don't know if I want to do the, the motivate. Be good. Let's do this. Yeah, Leave back to me. My turn. And then, yeah, just basically just get this all out. Up, the fence, the the regen. Is it regen or regen? Right. Now, like regain. Uh, I don't know if this guy's gonna move, anyways. Um, uh, but it could be. See what we got. Okay. Zoro Agrubu Gabagadu. That's that's something. Oh, is hook so there's much delaying with this guy. He's at uh 20. Pretty much bur you can burn bones, I guess. Shatter! Oh, that was good damage. Uh oh. Now he's now he's gonna do something. Okay. My turn. Uh, what about speed? Speed. Yeah. Speed is different from delay, I would say, right? Speed down to 50. Blind. Can we blind this 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 guy? No. Pretty much everything is like at 50. So. Um. Movement down. Movement, movement, movement. I, I have so much trouble even reading these things. This is the problem. The only one that's the only one that's gonna work is burn, and that's just at a solid hundred. Um, there's water, there's fire. So we we can we, yeah, these will work. These will work. It's just whether or not she's a speed is stat down there one category. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, so like so this could work per se. But it's just gonna do a set thing. Here we go. So whatever it worked, but no one knows what it really did there. Um. Okay. okay. That, that region is ridiculous. That, that, it really is. Four, okay, he's got fifty thousand. Okay. No. Right. Your tummy hurt. Right? Okay. Well, just lie down then. It'll rest. Oh. I know. You got, I can't do anything for his sword. Have, have some juice or something. Um. Love to put him to sleep. That ain't gonna work either. Arts. Uh, the, these these moves are really good. Oh, I thought he had the the fourteen. I know that works too. Um, the golden spear would probably be the better the better the thing to fill out there. Of course. Um, on a crafter, speed down is one hundred percent. So if a monster is twenty percent on the info page, then one hundred on the craft will go down twenty percent. You have to open my drawer. Probably. Ah! 
Okay, I'll take a little critical there. Oh, it's oh, so it's so Bor. Okay, so Boris, correct me if I'm wrong or or uh, okay. whatever. So that so this this thing without my face. So let's so let's you can see poison right or burn. So burn is a hundred percent. Burn will work. Poison's fifty. Does that mean it's there's just a fifty percent chance? On top of my percentage chance, so if I only had a hundred percent, let's say I had a hundred percent poison opportunity, that means it would drop down to fifty. So if I only had like a thirty percent chance of poisoning someone, then you gotta take the fifty percent of that, so it's only gonna work fifteen percent of the time. I feel like I'm doing some Scott Steiner math here, and it's not gonna work. I mean, it will work, but you know what I'm saying. Um. So who has the who has the heal? Someone's got. Does someone have a heal? Someone's got a heal somewhere. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um. Arts? No, we don't have that. Yeah. Okay. All right. That. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that one, then. Thank goodness on that one. Um. Yeah. Okay. I, I see a nice little. We'll jump there. There we go. There's the Jiminy Christmases we were wanting. I mean, we're doing some good damage here. Um, I'd like to get rid of that poison, but she's got that regen, so it's not really a, a, a big issue. So, Oh, now we got to burn. That's all right. That's all right. All right, my friend. Now you get... An opportunity to do more fun things. How about an S-Craft? I'll just, just see what's going to roll. Because I'm going to get rid of him on his next turn. and bring in Machias. So anime happens. That's great. I'm going to start da battling with uh, you know some, some Muzak. You know, get that demonic flute down with a demonic violin. How about that for, for something? You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you. And we bow and... Okay. Oh, and the confusion. Doesn't happen all day with that. It's going surprisingly well. Here we go. Surprisingly well. Okay, yep, it looked like you missed a couple of people there. The, the one thing I do notice with um, with uh, Elliot is, is very slow, very slow. My turn. Uh, but that's okay. All right, switch him out for that. Now let's see. Look at that. Now we get something else. We can throw that in there. Craft it on up. Maybe the defense. Uh, we don't really need anything else. So, yeah, just just keep just keep this? ruining this guy's life. Right. Now we can get into this stuff. So I wonder, does that... St so does her thing stack? Her armor break? So he's already got defense down. So defense down, uh, uh, from what I'm looking at, is just a... It, the defense goes down. I don't think it's... That's a percentage thing. Right? Or it stacks. It's not a, so the percentage thing is the seal. We have a 30% chance of sealing outside of whatever he prevents. She's going to still... Let's just do it. Okay. Yeah, I wish I sort of had an idea of what. Oh, and we confused them too. Oh, this is just this is just going terrible for this, this poor enemy. Come on, Mafia. Leave it to me. Go. Dude, I am sorry about your luck. It just didn't work out for you today. Um. So close. Finish him off. Nice. God, that went well. At least, I mean, I want to speak out loud here before anything goes terribly, terribly wrong here. But uh, I feel like you'd be nailing your your party members at the same time here. Like, I 
if you're just gonna spin around and shooting like a crazy person, that's that's not what everyone wants. Done. But we can't relax yet. Nice. Raven has reached level four. I mean, did someone die yet? No, uh, no one died, actually. Penguins, gotta pay that off. Oh, those get better every time. Penguins, how you doing? Uh, no one ever died. I'm, I'm, I am so good at this game, Q. I am so good at this game that no one will ever die. Uh, no, no party members died. You guys, you guys thought someone was gonna die? That's, that's what happened? That's what happened? Feel a little bad about it. Uh, what, oh, I hope she's getting something out of this, though. Level four. Four turns of speed, 25%. And then once per fight, when below 20%, four turns of speed, 20%. Oh my god, it just keeps getting better and better. Ooh, Lacrest. I gotta look that up to see if, if uh, we have Lacrest. And the Grim Butterfly. I did it. I'm liking it. Yeah, calm down, Reen. Calm down. Okay, I know you did it. But uh, how's Penguins today? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you coming in out of the, the the woodwork. I hope you're not as as busy uh, as you have been. I hope you can chill out and relax. I thought you were chilling with mom. I thought you had an upset tummy. It's impossible. Okay, lie down then. Laura, V, Roger. Dodger. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, so if you like just like destroy the skull, everything's okay. Uh, what? I will not die. Isn't that like a 400 hour game, Witcher 3? What? Although I guess I'm I'm thinking with the with oh. Oh, he's not gonna be happy that we just did that. Demonic flute. 70 hours and I'm done normal. So Jordan multiplier on that. That's got to be a two, 250 hour special. Let's check and mate. Bear in mind. I'm always bearing in mind. Always bearing of mind. Oh, that was a tough one. You did the last quest in five minutes. Like, were you just like overpowered? What's our plan, Comrade G? <sighs> What, you still think he has a plan uh, after all of this? You think he's got a plan? Oh, you did DLC first. Uh. Don't you dare. You vile. Don't you dare. Comrade G? I am fully prepared to lay down my life for our cause. It is not death. Blood and wine levels you up like crazy. Okay, I think I have that. I think when I bought The Witcher like eight years ago, probably on 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 the Steam, you know, uh, sale, five bucks probably, and I think it came with literally all of the DLC, or at least blood. I remember Blood and Wine. I remember that much, but uh, I don't think I really touched it outside maybe ten hours. I'm afraid I must do what needs to be done. Even if that means harming a member of the Imperial family. Oh, the, the, all, you know, pff, everything will, will come up crazy. <laughs> I think it's about time we came out to play. Oh, I'm sorry, who's this? <gasps> uh, who is this? Oh, jeez. Who are these people? Who are... Oh, my. Aren't you a quick little kitty? Eye patch wearing woman with uh, some giant gazungas and a guy that reminds me of uh, Raven from Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> Just my type. She has a tattoo. I can't read that well. That's the Sylphid I know. Sylphid? I'm not saying that as Sylphid all this time. Sylphid, okay. That literally is the Raven guy from Metal Gear. I'm sorry. They they saw that game were like, we're gonna make that same guy. Comrade S, Comrade V. Well, it looks like they're gonna get away now. So. Oh, you came for us. 
What a relief. Now we can... These must be... We're terrorists! The, the terrorists never end. I seem to recall specifically telling you to leave this operation to me. Well, it looks like you weren't capable of doing it, but so... I can say I'm unhappy you decided to check in. Sorry, boss. But if you got yourself caught here, we would have been off to a pretty bad start. <laughs> I do apologize for cutting in, but we figured it was for the best. Comrade C decided to join us, too. And so I have. It, was this the guy that was at the Nord Highlands? I recognize that voice. It only took him 80 hours to introduce villains. A mask. <laughs> Comrade C, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Did my planning for this operation seem that flawed to you? Probably. On the contrary, it was almost perfect. But no plan is completely foolproof. One must always factor in unpredictable elements. As the ladies and gentlemen of Class 7 here have demonstrated so brilliantly. <sighs> How does he know who we are? I mean, it's like not really a secret. We it's, we we pretty much tell people who we are half the time. Who are you? Who are you? We have already fulfilled our primary objective. Courting dishonor by harming a member of the Imperial family would gain us nothing now. Do you not agree? No, you're right. Release them. So nice of them just to hand them back like that. Machius, I'm leaving the two of them to you. Okay. Got it. There. A gesture of goodwill. In the hopes that we may yet resolve this without bloodshed. What say you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7? Will you stand aside and let us leave peacefully? Like hell we will. You abducted the Imperial Princess and an innocent girl. Drugged them. What Erebonian would stand idly by in the face of such an outrage? I was going to say Bornervillian, but uh, I'll take Erebonian for now. It six. works a little better. This won't be easy. Oh, Fee, I don't think they have any intention of fighting us on top of the fact that one of them looks like an end boss type of Darth Vader type of guy, and the other two look like you're gonna have to fight them before you even fight him. Uh, guys. <laughs> you got guts, kids. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't mind a little rough housing. No. It's only right that I be the one to test their metal. Oh, we okay, okay, okay. Wielders of the long sword, the great sword, the twin gun swords. Stand and face me. I shall be your opponent. Uh, damn it! <gasps> what? I don't have Elliot or Machias, my two like supports. <laughs> For <Christ laughs> sakes. <laughs> Think of this as an entertaining way to kill some time. Oh, that's it? Okay, so so you guys can all get away. Railway military police are already on their way. Until then, pour out the vessel of your wrath upon me. Interesting. I'm still surprised Reen didn't go crazy again. He's awful sure of himself. Is he serious? There's no way he can win against all three of them. <laughs> okay, so it is Darth. Uh, it's it's Darth Maul. Looks like Darth Vader with the Darth Maul thing. Okay. Whoa, what kind of weapon is that? I know, right? Reen's sitting there thinking like, man, couldn't I use something cool like that? Although I do like the 
It's like a, a samurai-ish sword. Another relic from the Dark Ages. A double saber. A double saber. I think I'll be able to remember that name. C. It's much better and easier to remember letters than it is all the numbers of the previous games of Ouroboros. Like, oh, I'm number four. I'm number 13. Oh, okay. We're fighting him. Oh, I was just going to say, like, what if he just, like, kills us? Like, right? Oh. I don't know if I want to leave. I... What's this one? Oh, that's okay. That's different. All right. Here we go. I don't even know if this stuff is gonna like. Okay, like, would I want to? I think I would want to link the two of them. Um, oh, I wouldn't mind doing that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I don't worry about him moving around. It's the... There we go. Yeah, I, I sort of had that feeling that that was going to happen. Ow. You could just, like, not murder my friends. Be, be really, really nice. See, this is one of those things of, like, is he going to just kill us regardless? Because, like, do I do I want to even go? We don't... I would have thought there would have been, like, a another one in between here. Like, a terrorist... Well, I don't know. Uh, something that would have made a little more sense. Um... Doesn't really say too much about him. Arcus activate. Huh. Yep. Go. Thought that was gonna happen. Um. Uh. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess I hate to use one. It's close enough. You have my face. Close enough. Oh god. I was just gonna say, is this gonna be one of your weird weirdo moves where you just kill all of us with one swift little blow? Um. I just nothing is gonna work on this guy, is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say don't 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 waste something like that. There's no purpose. <laughs> That's our C for you. Who can't deny You're already super nice enough penguins. Don't <laughs> You don't need to bring them on in to you know, don't there's no encouragement. <laughs> we didn't die at least. But I was I didn't do a thing with that one because I thought for a second, maybe it was just going to be a uh, a weird fight. Yeah, it wasn't real. I was going to say, like, it wasn't a real fight. I would have, that would, I would have felt really bad. Just, who are you people? Huh. Are they going to tell us their names? From today, you shall know us as the Imperial Liberation Front. Oh, I was fully ready of, like, them just going to go off, like, we're, like, Ouroboros version B or something hearts, the flames of silent anger in our hands the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator uh, wait who's the dictator that is our cause our purpose the imperial liberation front I was just gonna open can someone repeat that because I uh I didn't hear what they they said dictator yeah I'm, I'm with Elliot who are you referring as a dictator freeze all of you Oh, God. 
Sarah finally come to the rescue? I'm assuming they're just going to run now. Just in time. They're gonna run with the tails between their legs. It appears the time. I was just gonna say, yeah, I'll throw a smoke bomb down or something and call it a day. Huh? Is that? Farewell. I'm sure we'll meet again. What? The, the, the palace is collapsing. We need to run out of here with the cat. No, wait, wrong game. Uh, uh, bomb. But we didn't have a chance to change their heart. Ta ta for now, my little darlings. Let's see you claw your way out of this grip. Penguins, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but um, do you know who Tom. Scott is on YouTube. The passage is collapsing. Hurry! You might know where I'm going with this if uh if you know. Was he was he at the Was he at the place that you work at? Or no? I know that's like asking like if someone was in like uh, couldn't leave one up alone. He did a video at a theme park, like, last week. Green, you carry her highness. No clue? Nah, probably not. Got it. He was funny. He was funny. He was... I guess he's afraid of roller coasters, so he was he was doing it sort of as, like, how things work and, and what happens before, you know, before a, a place opens up type of thing. Um, and he would... He went from, like, a... At the start of like, I uh, yeah, I'll 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 DM it to you. Um, that was pretty touch and go back there. He uh, he would go from like like almost like hyperventilating, like I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, to like, it would start the creaks and everything would come up, and then like as soon as like the fun part of it, he's like, oh yeah, like I love it. Like it was weird of seeing like that flow of emotion, um, so quickly. Um, but I'm glad to see you all pulled through. Like within a span of like under a minute. Now, mind you, like a, a roller coaster is like what two minutes long, if that. But I had my doubts we were going to make it out of that alive. We could have come a bit sooner. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, there's no way we'll be able to follow them now. Indeed. <sighs> so, the Imperial Liberation Front, is it? Where is my Discord? There it is. Uh. Oh, can I not like... Hold on, hold on, I'm doing it right now. Sorry I had to go off the PC there. When posting, yes, how did the battle go? Battle went uh, well. Battle went well. Uh, as, as well as it possibly could. Against uh, C, I was one of those fights of where, like, um, you know, it's like, hey, I want to test you, fight you, but, like, it didn't, it wasn't going to go out anywhere type of thing, which was fine, I guess, but, I mean, that's how I expected it. We did run into, drug they were given you know, seem to have had any the new name, Imperial, uh, Imperial Drug... People. I think that's their name. There you go, Poke. I sent it to you. I feel like I've caused you all a lot of trouble, but thank you for rescuing me. I'm just glad that you're safe and unharmed. I assume he's British. Are you all right? I know he, he does videos like, uh... Oh, okay. I mean, you... I didn't even know there was Legolands around anymore. Uh, I'm fine. You should worry more about your sister.
Those are some pretty big weapons. I mean, not as big as what uh, the other guy had. Comrade G, I believe his name was. Intelligence division was right on the mark. So as for the stats on the monster info, you are on the right. Yeah, it's it, it's one of those things, Boris. That Eighty hours in, I finally understand everything. I mean, I saw. I thought they were based on percentages. Um, which I guess they are, like, because there's nothing that goes over 100, at least not that I've seen. We have a number of the routes but I, I've always been thinking of, like, I forget to interpret my percentages based on what I'm doing to the guy. Personally, I doubt it. This tunnel system is incredibly expansive, with too many areas we know nothing about. Continue the search for a while longer, then focus on restoring order in the city. Yes, ma'am. I'll send a report to the other divisions and let them know the situation's been resolved. So, Imperial Liberation Front, what's your game? I'd love to know their game. Oh, things are just starting to get real good now. Real good. But to follow it up, Boris, no one died. No one died in the fight as well. In the end, the railway military police. I'm not a boomer. And the first day I think I'm a zoomer. Close. I mean, you kids are young. What What would you consider someone who's age forty? I'm not a boomer. No, wait, no. Is that no? No, boomer is. Wait, I thought you call a zoomer uh, a younger boomer, right? Am I following? I mean, I know, like in Twitch chat, people say boomer. But isn't like the legitimate term a zoomer? Despite his injuries, Governor Regnitz kept on top of things, ensuring that the rest of the festival passed by peacefully. The next morning, it was time for us to leave the capital. Oh, finally, returning back to Trista. Trista. Maybe I can finally pick up those books from the, uh, uh the, uh, the pawn shop that we've been missing. Oh, we actually get to see inside. A second reception hall. This place is giant. I really don't know how to begin thanking you. Well, you could start by, you know, a little payoff would be nice. You've done so much for our family that I doubt we'll ever be able to repay you. Not at all, your highness. There's nothing to repay us for. We just did what we had to. Oh, come now. There's no need to be so modest. So I also didn't know that Elise, like I thought they just went to the same school. I didn't know Elise was like Alfin's like helper. It scares me to think what might have happened if Elise and I had been taken away by those people. So I can't thank you all enough. Please allow me to extend my thanks for your help as well. I'm truly grateful. Elise. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe. Group B's efforts were a great help to Cedric and I as well. I was just gonna say, don't forget about the other group of people. Thank you again for your assistance and respect. I mean, I know they didn't get in and uh, meet up a boner dragon, but you know they were still helpful in some way, shape, or form. I'm honored, Your Highness. <laughs> I'm so glad to have been of service. <laughs> just think of it as returning the favor for your help pushing to make Class Seven a reality. I think it's that time. Wolf Slayer's favorite time. Still, now we've got the Imperial Liberation Front to worry about. Well, technically, we've always had to sort of worry about them. We just didn't know who they were. Regrettably. There have been signs they were up to no good behind the scenes before now. That incident in Nord, for example. Yep. But now they finally stepped out of the shadows and announced themselves to the world. They appear to be insurgents in the truest sense of the word, led by several key figures. See, it's just promised. it's just so odd to me that like you couldn't actually just get, maybe maybe his name starts with the C and he just goes by C, but they all just go by a letter just like Ouroboros by a number but at least the people in Ouroboros had a name and then they were number blank they're just C G and uh was it 
I don't know what the other two. Gideon's G, but he has a name, I think. And then the I don't, well, it's just I've already lost my my mind. The intelligence it. division is doing its utmost to gather information about these leaders, even as we speak. VNS, thank you. Mysterious in some ways. Even though they abducted us, they rarely showed the kind of maliciousness one would expect from terrorists. It seemed more like they were in the grip of some kind of intense passion. True. Not that it excuses abducting your highness like they did. An intense passion, you say? And I think I just said also, like, oh, it was easier to, to recognize an alphabet as opposed to the, the number system, but, like, still. It did seem that way. I wasn't sure if they mentioned that who they were. Like one was like the eye patch wearing girl, hearts, and the other guy was like big gun man or something. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. Yeah, that was a weird thing. Who is like? They're not referring to. Well, Oliver. He's not. Uh, That's what their leader said when they made their appearance. Like it's there's still Osborne who's still in charge, right? CGVS sounds like a forgotten pop group. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> you know, back from the 90s and brought yeah, back in to uh, make some real money again out of nostalgia. Yeah. You can tell how gleeful he must have been to say the flames of silent anger in front of an audience. Yeah, you saw how he's been, he's been practicing doing that in front of his mirror all day. Well, it's no mystery what they're referring to, at least. Oh, okay. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't miss you. Wait, isn't that... Is he? Dad's with him, too. That's Prince Olivert's and Alfin's brother, right? With Governor Regnant's. Oh, I'm glad you made it, Cedric! Cedric, I couldn't remember his name. I felt bad about it. <laughs> Just in time, too. Now... Is it Oliver that's not... of the same family? Like, I knew I, he lives there. Is, was he adopted or something? But, like, Alfin and Cedric are, are real parts of the of the royal family? Did you come all this way just... Or am I making things up in my mind? Of course. After all you've done for us, I thought it was the least I could do. Ah, is this the rest of Class 7? This is all of us. The Crown Prince. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Cedric Rice Arner. I, I remember them saying that, Boris. I just couldn't remember. So, 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 uh, Oliver is not going to be a king down the line, right? Whereas Cedric is going to be... A future king would be my guess. I wanted to thank you for coming to my sister's aid in her time. Is different. Mo that's right. That's right. I remember. I remember them bringing that up. I remember that being mentioned. Allow me to extend to you my most heartfelt appreciation. You're too generous, Your Highness. Th the honor was ours. Thank you, Your Highness. This is the Crown Prince. He's pretty cute. Oh, geez, there it goes. Fee was looking for something. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly wouldn't mind if you took a few lessons in okay. manliness from the gentleman of Class 7, though. But I think he he obviously knows that, right? Like, he's pretty down. I think he sort of explained that when he went on about um, the story of them. I think that's a little harsh, Your Highness. <laughs> well, you're still just 15. You have plenty of growing ahead of you. Still, it isn't often I see you keeping the Imperial Governor company. Yep, yeah, yeah, I knew that. I think he prefers that, to be honest. Like, like playing through him in the old Trails games, in Trails in the Sky, of not knowing who he was, um, um, because he, uh, referred to himself as, uh, Olivier, um, not Olivert, um, and always chasing around, um, what was it? Was it, uh, Schwarzer? Schwarzer? I mean, he was chasing tail everywhere. I just happened to be here on business, so I thought I'd take the chance to say goodbye to everyone. How are you feeling? Are your injuries all right now? I mean, obviously he's more than fine. Shara! 
Charizard. That's all right. Yes, nothing too serious for What you. did I say? I'm still feeling it, but it shouldn't be too much longer before I'm back to my old self. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see you looking all hale and hearty, Your Excellency. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. While how embarrassing. Foreseen how it ended, you did manage to complete this month's field study. On behalf of the board of directors, I'd like to congratulate you for your exemplary work. Hey, look at that. We're honored you'd say so. Thank you, Your Excellency. Oh. Hey. Hey. No. Hey? No. The sun is playing with the curtains, so get used to the lighting going in and out. <laughs> you can't tell this is his room of my glorious mansion. I, I decided to stream out of his room. <laughs> but for my part, I'd like you to enjoy student life however you choose. I think the other directors would agree with I, you. Yes, yeah, clearly. I mean, yeah, like in my hand, like, go, go, gadget arm, right? Magical powers, or that. Or that. Dad. I'm glad to hear you feel that way, Your Excellency. In that regard, you have nothing to worry about, Your Highness. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, if you say so. I've always found you a trustworthy man, of course. But... Chloe's guard is Julia Schwartz, at least close in last name. Yes, yes. Ah, I see that everyone's here. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, um, yeah, wasn't that, uh, Princess Claudia? But they called her Chloe. She was the one that had the, uh, the bird friend, right? This is Osborne, I believe. It couldn't be. <laughs> Chancellor Osborne. As a matter of fact, the Chancellor and I just came from an audience with His Majesty the Emperor. So we haven't met the Emperor yet, have we? I'm overjoyed to see you safe and well, Princess Alfred. Clearly, the Goddess has bestowed her blessings. Thank you, Chancellor. I'd also like to reassure Prince Oliver that we're starting a nationwide hunt for members of the Imperial. Oh, how nice. Nationwide, eh? An investigation into the backgrounds of its members is also underway. Well, he already sort of explained it to us. See, here's the thing of like, it still says dark haired man, but I know who he is. Like, I'm not even saying based from a previous game where we knew from the Crossbell arc. We have seen him. Gets past you, does it? I, I have a feeling that two of them don't get along. Well, I suppose that means you have the security detail for next month's trade conference well in hand. Yeah, so he's talking about the trade conference that's happening in Crossbell that he attends to. But Oliver also attends that as well. I'll see to it that everything is taken care of. Ah, but where are my men? Please excuse me for not introducing myself. Did you watch the doors in the scatter? Yes, I, I. I don't think I missed any doors. Representative of the Erebonian government. There's a door with some backstory on the two. Wow. I I probably did. I was pretty. I was trying to get most of those doors. Um. So I imagine those of you. But that was like quite some time ago when I played that one, Boris. And of course, concussions and, and me forgetting things happens, obviously. Uh, it's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. Uh, um, your reputation precedes you, Your Excellency. <laughs> I've heard much about the recent exploits of Thor's Class 7. Yeah, it, yeah, it, 
the gist of it is yes, you can tell they don't get along. Like they have a professional relationship, I guess you could say. Traveling across the empire for first hand learning with your field studies, it's quite a fascinating program. I hope you'll keep up with the good work. We shall endeavor to. Thanks. I got the last one. Yes. I hope we'll live up to your expectations. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. I'll be right back. I do wonder if people get annoyed that I just stopped that song out of nowhere. <laughs> it's been quite some time, young Grace. Oh, so Osborne knows Sarah. That's nice. Uh, just a reminder, everyone. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? That's uh, I know Wolf Slayer's not here, but I say it just in case he's lurking. I'm glad it's to see great. A new path the, it's the drinking hour. It's great. The only thing we don't know, or at least I don't know, 
I'm sure it'll be explained as Sarah's backstory. We know he was a former she know <sighs> we know she was a former bracer um here in Heimdall. Uh had some connections uh to get the new career path over at Thor's military academy. But we don't know like was she forced out because of that, or was it another thing? Because she still has uh obviously the the skills. I really owe you for all you've done for me. <laughs> General Van Dyke was my superior back when I was in the army. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of a- Ooh, I mean, I, I love additional assistance. I don't think we need any more party members. Nine or eight. I think we have nine. That's more than enough. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. What are you- Maybe our own airship? <sighs> I have great expectations for you all. Maybe he's gonna move us into the palace. And train up bodies and wills of steel. For I have no doubt you'll need them in the turbulent times to come. Oh, I see where you're going with that. So it's, it's almost like foreshadowing. Like, hmm, you, you might know if you've played the previous games of what's to come. But if you started your 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 game playing this one. Uh, you would not know. Oh, that's gonna make an appearance again. Queen? Wow, that was a good chapter. That was a really, really good chapter. Um, we're not done. We're still playing. Um, you know, that's that's the way that that could be humbled. All right, gladiator belts. Those are also really good. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Good showing, everyone. I think that's our first A. Usually we're getting Bs and sometimes even Cs, but I think as I got a couple of uh, extra quests there. They don't call them the blood and right? Exactly. Oh, we got. Ch I, I thought the link abilities just ended at like level three. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that'll work. Wow. So, just a question, uh, if you know Boris, the older the older trails games um, allowed you to continue on. Um, you know, it, it took your old um, save and it was like, hey, do you want to transfer over your stuff? Um, and then you transfer over the levels and everything. Do, do these games do the same? I would have to assume they do the same thing, right? Like, it's not that it changes anything. Like, I don't know if, like, the bonding events pass over or the bonding levels, because I feel like that might break something here and there, but. Safe. Absolutely. Yeah, and here, here, here we miss another two weeks, two and a half weeks. I'm sure I got some terrible exams coming up, but it is good to be back home. Mid-August. It was the peak of summer, and the sweltering sun was beating down on the residents of Trista. After returning from Heimdall, we were given a whopping five-day summer vacation before Ooh, the school year. A whole five days. Turns out, Thor sticks to its military roots, only granting extended vacations to students over the New Year's holiday. Michelle? Okay. I thought you wanted Charlie. What? Abby Hatcher? Want Abby Hatcher? Abby Hatcher? There you go. Uh, safe transfer still there. You get a reward. Some lines change depending on who you bond with, type of thing. Okay. Nobles are allowed to visit home. Yeah, because to give them time to become familiar with their holdings. Small stuff still there. Yeah, like the one thing I was gonna mention, like 
the levels still transferred over. So like we're like level 40, maybe by the end of the game, we're like level 50 ish. Maybe like 60 could be, but like in the, in the older games, you only got like 30 levels because they really prevented you from being able to grind. And this game's the same way, sort of like, but I always saw like, well, eventually there's four games in this one, unless they change like who the characters are somewhere down the line in the later games like you're gonna run out of level unless they just go up like level 110 20 30 and it's all irrelevant anyways it could be and as you might expect that meant most students from classes one and two spent summer away from trista i'm sorry my son is singing abby hatcher <sighs> meanwhile classes three through five were stuck on campus Envying the nobility as they studied and trained as usual. The other members of Class 7 and I chose to stay with Trista as well, facing the heat with our fellow students. Oh, we're going to get our August field study, I'm sure. Now, where'd it go? That'll be the thing. 8.30 a.m.? Sarah drunk still or what? Oh, it's so hot. I'm dying in here. I'm sick of this heat already. Talking about it just makes me feel even hotter. The Academy could install an orbital air conditioner. At least then it'd be a little easier to cope. Um, you can't start with the low level. I think you get your level if it's on the level the game allows. If not, you're set a minimum level the game needs you to be. Okay. An orbital air conditioner? What is that? Well, it's this device that blows out cool air to help regulate the room's temperature. Maybe you think of it as like the opposite of a stove. Wow, that's some kind of wizardry. Now I've gone, when I go around to other people's homes inside here, I'm always shocked that like, no one has like an orable refrigerator. They have these giant kitchens, but no one has like an orable refrigerator. And now that the mention of an orable air conditioner Makes even more or less sense why people don't have horrible refrigerators. Okay, my son's losing my mind. Wanna go mommy and daddy's room? No sucky. You can watch the show, but no sucky. Can you come in? Hey, come on. All right, give me a second. Come on. Come on. I've heard of them, but uh, aren't they like supposed to be prohibitively expensive? Only the most modern buildings seem to be able to afford them. Do you have one in your house? Well, there's one in the Reinford Company's corporate headquarters, yeah. It'd be nice if my mother could spare one. You know, the academy she sits on the board of directors for. Um, this is because the tech is new and not spreading out all parts of the empire. Some big towns have... Yes, like I remember... Um, yeah, like, I was just gonna say, like, playing through Trails in the Sky, I know it's a couple years before this takes place, but even, like, Crossbell didn't have a lot of craziness going on, considering how big it was. Heimdall does not have a lot of crazy stuff that was going on. That's the big, the big city, right? But, um, huh, seems a bit too much to hope for. Well, this is a military academy, so I doubt we can expect to be indulged quite that much. Still, a machine to help us keep cool in the summer? Whoever first invented that should get a medal. I'll admit, summer heat here is a little more difficult to help with in Milgram. But as long as I think of it as another part of my training, it doesn't bother me all that much. Rayahard gets similar summer heat waves, but there's usually a breeze blowing in from the canyon at this time of year. It does make summers a bit easier to manage. My hometown's up in the mountains, so it's Pretty cool even around there that time of year. Actually, now that you mention it, I would have thought the three of you would go back home all this summer, being nobles and all. You were given permission, weren't you? Huh. 
where everyone else was going home, I probably would have considered it, but in the end, I decided against it. I mean, it wasn't all that long ago that I got to see Elise. Maybe next year. I came here to train. Until I feel like I've made significant progress, with no intention of returning home. Ha! <laughs> Some of you saw my father's mansion. Do you think I'd go back to a place like that willingly? I'd much rather stay here and take my chances with Heatstroke. It is the capital, only it's not the most advanced. So what is the most advanced city of the empire? Still, hot as it is, there's a lot going on right now. I doubt all the people ahead of that conference at the end of the month have much time to be worrying about the heat. You make a good point. Uh, you're talking about the West Zamuria Trade Conference, right? That's the one. There's never been an international conference on that scale before, at least not in modern times. Mayor Kwa, who happens to also be the IBC of CEO Crossbell, uh, was also the first one who proposed it. I had heard that Prince Oliver will be attending on behalf of His Majesty of the Empire, and Chancellor Osborne's supposed to be there too. Laura equals heck yeah swords. You'll see it as uh, soon as the most advanced place. No place to spoil. Okay, thank you. Seems crazy to think we met them both just a few weeks ago. Chancellor in particular was a pretty intimidating character. Seemed like a big scary monster. I've heard he served in the Imperial Army before becoming a politician. Then, 11 years ago, His Majesty entrusted him with the position of Chancellor. Supposedly, a full 70% of the Imperial Army is under his jurisdiction. His real fame comes from establishing most of the nation's railway network, centered on the capital. Though, he's also been responsible for annexing several smaller countries and independent states around Bonerville. I believe those all took place without any bloodshed, though. At least, as far as I'm aware. Huh. I wouldn't put that much stock in what he's selling. Military spending in this country has increased exponentially since he took up his position as Chancellor. And that's only possible thanks to the tax revenue he gleans from the people of Heimdall and those annexed nations. Well, he was the one who ordered the construction of those two railway guns they got pointed at Crossbell too. At one point, Erebonia was on the verge of a full-scale war with Calvert because of those things. Oh yeah, I heard that was actually Lebrel that proposed a way to avoid the armed conflict. They ended up signing the non-aggression pact, right? Yeah, though... As I'm sure you've noticed, there's still quite a bit of tension between the two countries. I wouldn't be surprised if the issue reared its head again during the trade conference. Well, Chancellor Osborne's been a really popular figure in the capital, though. Popular enough that he seems to have a group of terrorists after him. He does seem to be Imperial Liberation Front's main target, doesn't he? You know, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator and all that. Indeed. They seemed to harbor a deep-seated grudge against him. Their anger seemed a bit unusual in its intensity, didn't it? He does seem like the type who'd make a lot of enemies, especially with a face like that. Well, I'd rather not speak ill of my father's close ally, but... Sigh. Come to think of it, isn't the instructor awfully late? It's well past time for homeroom to start. True. It should have started about 10 minutes ago, actually. S's outfit looks like it's handling for light. Yeah, yep. I mean, I when you look at it, like you even see like Sarah's got like the belt to hold up the puppies. Uh, she did not, but uh, oh, I swear that woman, she better not be sleeping off another hangover back at the dorms. Wouldn't put a past her. I wish I could say there's no way upstanding instructor would be that but I wouldn't be surprised. Excuse me. I'll have you know I did no such thing. Today. <laughs> instructor? Good morning, Instructor. Morning, everyone. Morning. Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. I mean, it's like almost for sure S's outfit is just like got some buttons that are ready to go right off the eye, right? And that reason is we are going to be welcoming a new classmate today. You can't tell me we're getting a new class classmate. I mean, it would it would make sense 
Um, I still like Emma the best. Yeah. I mean, I, I like Sarah. Um, then I like Elise. Emma's good. Laura. Fee, Fee's just like, you know, it's still the unknown, right? A transfer student at this time of I know, right, Elisa? S seriously? All right. Come on in. Yes, buddy. Righto. I was just going to Oh. I recognize that voice. That's got to be That's got to be Kane. That's Crow. Does he have huh? duct tape for his boots? Time for a shock. I mean, Crow. I had so many people when I was playing the previous games um and then you know, there'd be people who would get into conversation of who's your favorite character in the in the series or whatever, and, and a lot of people had mentioned Crow. Now I didn't know who Crow was at the time, but when he sort of came up, I was I was sort of like not spoiled, and I don't mind people discussing stuff like that, just as long as like the story isn't like um ruined in a way. But I, as soon as we saw him at the very beginning, um I had a feeling I was like, Oh, he must be a party member, but he never showed up. He never he just kept being whatever. So this isn't too shocking to me. But isn't he a second year student? He repeated a year. I'm Crow Armbreast. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of class seven. I mean, it does make it nice for five and five. You know, everyone get everybody's get a support member. It's going to be pretty sweet, guys. What? <laughs> what? I mean, how? Why are we so against this? Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale. For oh, we have nothing but time, Crow. I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Oh, really? If you won't help out. Okay, maybe. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few. Oh. Then he came crying to me in a panic, like, Oh, help me, Instructor Sarah. <laughs> They're not gonna let me graduate. <laughs> Sarah holding nothing so back. Special exception. He's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. You can't be serious. <laughs> That's an even more pathetic reason than I was bracing myself for. <laughs> well, I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. Appreciate it, Sarah. Anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? Right. I do wonder what his weapon will be. Easier said than done. I feel like he's a gun user. If he was any more like a pistol. Like not like Fee where it's like gun gun blades, daggers, but just like a solid solid evoker, revolver. Wait, is there someone else too? Huh? Are you serious? Another oh. one? Oh, I was hoping to catch you off guard. All right, come on in and say hello. Now this is a shock. I thought you forgot I was out in the hall. Toa? Oh no, oh it's this girl. <laughs> Toa. This was the girl that was on the... Uh -oh. oh, didn't her name start with a, a an M? What? Me Mealy? What? Wow. You must be joking. Yeah, I remember her. Hey, aren't you? You're the girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Milium, thank you. Yuppers, long time no see, guys. She was pretty good. She she helped. You, I don't know, so guess I better introduce myself. Oh, I forgot because she was only introduced to the group that I was in. Millium. Millium so, where's your robot friend? There it is. 
call him Lammy for short. What the hell is that? <laughs> Holy crap! It's that thing we saw at Ark's fort. Yeah, she rides around like a hundred miles an hour. So this is that strange girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's gonna get chewed out for it. Yep, so so no magic robots hanging out in the classroom. She's a little more bubblier than than she was at the first time we saw her. <laughs> Tell me you're kidding, please. No. See now with no. now they've made it weird again. It used to be full five people. Wait, how many are in the class? Is there only eight in class seven? Am I missing someone? She's energetic at 700%. Yeah. So now we have 10 people. I thought we had nine. I don't know where the, I, if you were to ask me na name them all, I would have, and then be like, oh yeah, that's right, I only have eight. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months. So I guess it makes sense. Now both groups have a support member. I'm an idiot. All right, well, that's good. Good start. New characters. Starting life on a Saturday. Three days went by. At first, no one was sure what to make a Crow, Arm, Burst, Intelligence Division Agent, Milliam Orion's sudden transfer into Class 7. But within a matter of days, it almost felt like they'd been there all along. Well, I'm sure none of you need to be reminded that it was none other than Emperor Dreykels who ended the War of the Lions. But did you know that historical records tell us that he had an amazingly few soldiers under his command? Initially, his allies numbered only a few confidants and several warriors from Nord. And while supporters rallied to him in each region, his rank still couldn't hope to compare the other prince's armies. Nonetheless, they continued to advance, liberating region after region, and after a year and a half of bloody battles, Prince Dreykels met perhaps his most well-known supporter. Milliam, right? Would you happen to know the historical figure to whom I'm referring to? Oh, sure do! Leon Sandlot, also known as the Lance Maiden. I love Crow in the background, just sleeping it off. Right you are, well done. Selah was the daughter of a count who ruled over a remote region, and the counts tell us she showed great martial skill from a young age. In particular, her skill with the lance was unparalleled. No records exist of her ever being bested in combat. The lance maiden also had a group of mighty warriors under her command who fought alongside her in battle. Perhaps you'd like to eliminate this, uh, name of the famous band, Reen? Oh god, I'm putting on the spot here. Hmm. The group of mighty warriors led by the Lance Maiden. That's the... I've only heard of the Grail's Ritter. The Eisen Ritter. There's too many Ritters, too many John Ritters out and about. The Eisen Ritters, also known as the Iron Knights. They were a band of knights said to be able to charge across the battlefield like lightning, cutting down all in their path. See, that was the only one I thought I knew of. So yes, I, I knew the Grails Ritter because like uh, Father Kevin and the Grails Ritter, Sister Reese and the Grails Ritter. So I thought that was all the same thing. I didn't know that was like a churchy thing. So the Grails Ritter are the church crazy people. Um, and then there's the uh, the the Iron Ritter of the I guess 
Think of it that way, iron, but just spelt differently with an E. The wandering prince met the Lance Maiden one day during a prolonged conflict. After recognizing each other as reliable and trustworthy, they pledged to fight together under a united banner. The Lance Maiden and her knights bolstering his ranks, Dracul's army swept through one region after another. In just a year, he was able to defeat the other princes and free the imperial capital Heimdall. As an interesting footnote, the castle the Eisenritter used as their base of operations 250 years ago just so happens to only be a hop, skip, and a jump away from Laura's home in Legrand. The second name the Steel Knights are someone you heard uh, to only so easy to miss. Yes, it's indeed known as Lohanger in Castle. It's a beautiful old building situated on the shore of Lake Abel to the west of Legrand. Well, you mentioned that before. Does anyone live there now? No, due to the dangerous terrain there, no one goes near it. These days, it exists simply as a relic of a bygone age. The RC family is responsible for the care and maintenance of the castle, though really only minimal work is done. Speaking of the RC house, wasn't one of your ancestors the Eisenreiter's second in command? Indeed! The Lance Maiden's most trusted assistant and confidant, from what I understand. The Sandlot family line ended with the death of the Lance Maiden, and it's partly because of that the RC family mourns her death each year. I see. Ooh, what a fascinating story. Legram, huh? Never had a mission there, so I'd never been able to go. Maybe I should stop by when I went to Bahari Hard about a while back. Grow! You'd think she'd at least try to conceal the fact that she gets sent all over the country on secret missions. I know, she totally just let it slip that she was doing something in Berea hard too. Well, I suppose it's better than her being all distant and cagey around us. Sounds like it's time for some field studies if I do say so myself. Okay, so tomorrow's a free day, which means next Wednesday you'll have your usual practical exam. Better bring your A-game. Oh, and Malim Crow? We have a few instructional materials you guys are going to be needing as part of the Class 7 finally showing up, so I'll hand that stuff to you once we're done here, and I want you to come with me to the faculty lounge. Man, what a drag! Alright, homeroom's out for the day. Flee! Flee while you can! Alright there, Boris. I'll be here, buddy. I'll be here. Marcus, if you'll do us the honors. All rise, and we bow. All right, looks like a free day. Probably gonna have the opportunity to hang out with three people. Um, go off to the pawn shop and get some things. Um, but I am gonna go take a quick pee. I will be right back. No lockdown this time, because I'll be too sad.
Oh, I'm gonna step on a bus, I swear. Back, thank you. So what do we think, oh, wait, of, of the new party members, or, well, something we have to be on our guard around her at least. Same, though, I'd rather she kept that giant silver thing of hers hidden. Hey, that thing comes in handy in battles, so. Yeah, I don't think she's a bad girl. I was taking a nap in the courtyard yesterday and she came and fell asleep next to me. What does that have to do with whether or not she's trusted? Well, okay, she could have murdered him, Machias. Like, it looked like a couple of kittens all curled up. The personalities may be worlds apart, but they're both rather cat-like in their own ways. She can't be more than 12 or 13. She's still practically a child. Yeah, right. She's so chipper all the time that it's really hard to be cold towards her. Yeah, I don't think I could bring myself to spurn her. She's got this natural charm, I think. Be that as it may, her presence here reeks of blood and iron, if you take my meaning. Well, it certainly seems that way. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I didn't put two and two together, but surely Crow isn't isn't the meaning of him. Her, yes. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. So Crow just happens to be joining us, but her, uh, it all makes sense. Thank you for you know, like thanks for showing me that. It's hard to believe a girl like that could be an agent of the intelligence division, but just going off what happened in Nord, it's not so much that we would make me doubt it now. And then there's that thing. Argit Lamb. That's always with her. She calls it Lammy, but aside from its name, we don't really know anything about it. It seems to be made from some strange material, like both metallic and ceramic properties. Hard, but pliable. Agreed. It doesn't look like anything you could even make with the most cutting edge durable technology. When I touched it, it felt really nice and cold. Wow, so you actually touched it? It hasn't escaped my notice that it seems strikingly similar to the combat shells we used to fight in practical exams. I think it's safe to assume that they share some kind of common origin. Yes, exactly. Just without the longer arms. The instructor said she was forced to accept it, though, in a sense, Millian was forced on us too. Huh. You're welcome to think what you will, but I don't trust her. Either way, she's technically her classmate now, like it or not. So, it may be a little early to tell whether we can trust her as a friend, but we gotta be able to figure out pretty quickly that we can count on her as a member of Class 7. Oh, that's a logical way of breaking it down, at least. <laughs> You're right, it's still pretty early to make sweeping judgments. Knowing her background would be great, but what's really important is whether we can count on her in a fight. Agreed. The students of the military academy, it's probably the most important issue. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, consider we're living in the same dorm, it'd be good if we all got along. Yeah, wouldn't want her to think that we're trying to make her feel unwelcome either. And then, there's Crow. What's he like, Green? Like, you seem to get along with him pretty well. I don't know if I'd put it quite like that, if I had to say, Describe him as a capricious gambling addict, way too prone to the ante up in her every hand. Um... Hydeos, please help us. Huh. He sounds like the kind of miscreant one would be better off avoiding. You can count on him when the chips are down, though. He really helped me out last month when Elise went into the old schoolhouse. He's good in a fight and pretty handy with his Arcus, too. Huh. Maybe we're worrying over nothing, then? Still, I'm not really sure how you connect with them, you know? <sighs> At least we're in separate dorms for the time being. We'll just have to see how things are. Right, you are. So do we have them in our party or is this just like, okay, it's just, it's just Reen right now. Okay. This is just like Persona. You can't you can't enter. You can't even enter the 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 cafe without your phone going off every five seconds. Hi there, Rain. Do you have a moment? 
Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in the class now, right? A couple, Toa. Okay. Can you play that in our living room? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it? I was going to drop by there anyways, Toa, to see if you had any extra, you know, quests, so absolutely. Sure thing. I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room then? That'd be great. Thanks. She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room. Yeah, we'll head over. Okay, Logan. How about our room? Sure's quiet around the academy when the nobles are away, but I'm so jealous. I wish the rest of us could go home for a month. I'd be able to beg my parents to take me shopping all the time. Right you are. I do like to check out sort of what's going on, so chat it up with a few people. Because uh, this is sometimes how you miss some stuff, so I don't want to miss things anymore. Even putting Crow aside, I would never expect some girl we met in Nord to be our classmate. But life is full of surprises. Alright, well, I don't think we should have any trouble getting along with them. At least not for now. And you two seem more like responsible adults than any of us. Instructor Sarah included. You think you can look after Milliam? Not a problem. Run it off. Lift it off. Lift it off. Can you play the living room? Right. Not broken. Not on. Uh, how many people? Oh, I think these are the guys for the peculiar dishes as well. Margarita's gone home from summer vacation. I just never realized how quiet this club is without her. It would be nice to get some new members. See, I thought that was him. I guess not. He said that as the daughter of Count Alheim, I have duties to attend to. I, in turn, explained to him that as an instructor, it's my devotion to the students. So, probably won't be able to be quite so selfish once I marry. Wait. The Althium family is one of the best-known families in the Sutherland province? I guess she has a little bit more to worry about. Yeah, apparently so. Um, not even like any books or anything yet we've come across. Your painting's been really improving. Oh yeah, that, that blank canvas looks like it's got a lot added to it there, Lind. It's all thanks to you and Clara. You guided me along a path I never would have found through my own, and I couldn't be more thankful. At least she's working on something. I don't know what that is. Uh, is it a horse or, or what? See, I was hoping just at least to find a, a book, something, anything. Peter room is locked, so we're not allowed to look at porns. Fair enough, I guess. All right, I'm gonna go up to the rooftop just in case there's anyone there, and then we'll go down and run around there before we go on up to the uh, uh, student council area with uh, Toa to see what she wanted. Oh, usually there's somebody up here. At least some.
How strange. Milliam's documents list her home address as private. Well, I don't doubt she's involved in anything shady, probably. <laughs> I can't believe the terrorists showed up in Heimdall. Well, it's lucky only a few people were injured. It's a shame that we live in a world where such unnecessary violence is prevalent. Situations like this make you realize how foolish people can be sometimes, yeah? No, oh, someone, someone's in here sick and I'm gonna go bother them. Hmm. No better place to skip class than the infirmary. Right you are. Although it could be worse, you could be thrown into the infirmary in these, uh... Uh, Persona games, and then, you know, what's gonna happen there is they're gonna make you take a weird drink, and you're not gonna know what the hell's up. The Wind Orchestra will be holding a performance at the chapel tomorrow. I'm handing out flyers in hopes that everyone will come along and see it. So, come along too, if you have the time. Oh, Reen, come here a sec. No, you've got a real air of confidence since you first showed up here at Thor's. I haven't noticed much of a difference, but hey. Maybe it's because we've all had to have difficult opponents we have to face over the course of the year? I heard you've been through a lot. So I gotta give this to someone or I'll figure it might as well be you. Oh, I'm in charge of handing out one of the Lionheart medals this year, so yeah. Medal of Valor. Congrats. See, if I would have just not bothered talking to anybody, we would have never got that. At all. Crow and Angelica got it last year, to be honest, and I think you're on track to accomplish just as much as they did. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off, but this is going to motivate me to work even harder. Wait, so is that like... See, I'm, I'll, I won't be able to find this thing at all anymore. Oh, maybe I will. No? Stop that! that how would you do that um i could have sworn there was like a a thing i could i came across yeah okay we got some new new carps trouts no oh there it is yes the line i was like i knew i found something uh where the metals look like they went so um, I also got, okay, so we got a new, I like these, like, there's just, there's just nothing happening to him at all. Gladiator belt, strength, defense, and auto CP up, a medal of valor, strength, and speed. <sighs> Those are all really good. New, we got a new orbit. The Grim Butterfly, that's what it was. A butterfly swarm, swarm, slur, slur, swarm plunges enemies into despair. Could be pretty nice. Just wanted to see what it was. Wait, did we, did we even go in here? No, we didn't go into the faculty line. Hey, look, there's Millum. Now that you have your uniform and equipment, you're good to go. Thanks, Teach. It's great energy. We'd love to see it. Still have a hard time wrapping my mind around how someone like you ended up in Iron Blood, though. That boss of yours is a real mystery man. That seems like your life was really interesting before you started teaching. Oh, well, I could have told you that. Just the girl from the Imperial Intelligence Division. Milliam, let me give you a word of advice. His Majesty might have gotten you into this academy, but in my class, you're just another student. Just keep that in mind, everything will be gravy. I think we've forgotten everything. Oh, he's our man. Instructor Neidhart's busier than usual, leaves immediately after his classes and seems to be conducting them on a regular basis. Could it be that Instructor Neidhart has a secret girlfriend? Probably. Oh, we don't have anything. I'm beside myself to know that we have a student who is in danger of being held back. That crow armburst is a disgrace. This is why the lower class have nothing but a liability. Does he realize that those are the types of things we hurt the Academy's reputation? Be sure to inform him once we make an only special exemption for once. And only him. It's out of chances. Yeah, whatever you say there, Principal Van Dick.
this guy drinking? I just assume Principal Van Dyke is always drinking. Well, he seems to become even more coercive after becoming a politician. Now that terrorists have begun to pop up, I'm sure that he won't hesitate to enforce some strict countermeasures. I can only hope that no innocents get caught up in it. I mean, money? It's always money, right? Why would you Why would you leave that? Money, hey, look, there's something glowing. A book about the Lionheart medals. Four great Lionheart medals are awarded to students at Thor's Military Academy with outstanding achievements. Each medal is awarded by a designated instructor who selects a deserving student after a period of observation and judgment. All just different oh i assume that you like okay so we got this one so there's one two three there's four of them so you, i guess you could get them for me you just gotta talk to the right people i guess all right now we're just gonna go away to the other i guess yes i was gonna say just cross on over to the courtyard from the other side Janitor Guiler, I hear you tell me you got yourself invited to that Valflame Palace last month. Now that's an achievement. Anyone who's ever voiced their doubts about Class 7 is probably eating their words about now. And what's more, I've heard you found yourself some new members. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Well, yeah, we have earned it. It's just like a weird stock shed. much going off of here all right we're out of here so again like i said we'll go to uh, toa um see what she's got all about and chat up with these two lovebirds hugo and becky i've been helping maya and at the grand market for years so food stalls are like one of the things i live for want to have a nap go. want a nap go. want a new show What's that? Tell me. Tell me. Want Corey Carson? Boss Baby? There you go. Boss Baby. Um, good stop to go over to the uh, library as well. We just make a solid circle around here. Lots of people to talk to. We'll get her done. All right, a few things to read extra. Can't believe the terrorists showed up in Heimdall of all places. The capital isn't terribly far from here. It sends chills down your spine, doesn't it? Can imagine that hanging here. Well, better get used to it. All right, so there's nothing new here. Is this another reading corner? Imagine that if asked, the most famous example of mass media in Bonerville would be respond with the name Imperial Chronicle. Yeah, that's the that's the newspaper. Here we go, book notes. This girl just stands here all day, all the time. Just got her nose right in the books. Believe it or not, I'm really enjoying them. Well, that's good. Yeah, so I know there are books to read, but as long as I think if something isn't glowing, I have read it already, so we don't need to reread all of those things. Although the weird thing is, is like those are still glowing despite that I have read them. I just don't hope like if I go. What is happening? Did my controller just shit itself? It's still on. Okay. It's really weird. Oh, 
Oh, what, turn it off and turn it on again? What, what, what could be happening with the Xbox controller? Please do pre-tell me. Right. What is going on? Did you, did you turn something on? Didn't you? Oh. Oh, God. No wonder. Oh, are you kidding me? He turns this on. And it just works. I mean, I like that it works, but... Uh, GameCube controller, like, I'm going to use that. Sit down. Get... This is my son. Don't you have a nap? Don't you have a nap? Want a beer? Are you tired? Right. Okay. We'll go in our bed? Yeah. Sure. You have to go to bed, though. All right. Give me a second. I'll give you a second. You have to go to bed. Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Hmm. Oh, God, I'm gonna step on 800 things. Oh, guitars, cranes are shoved right underneath my dad. Oh. Sorry, hmm. just give me a second. because I don't want to step on them. Which will probably happen anyways because I'll step on something down the road. Anyways, there we go. Hopefully, my son takes a nap. Um, I don't know, he always bothers me. Always bugs me. I guess that's fine to be bugged by my son. But... Um, I, oh yes. Controller turned on. I was very confused. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm unsure of, like, if I go to... What button is it? Go to the student council room. Like, I don't... Am I gonna get told... I can't go to... The city? Oh, 
save just in case. Can't leave just yet. I still need to pick up mill. Okay, so it's it's just like one of those things where like you have to go and do that. Okay. That I can do. But is there people hanging out? Like, I know that there is places and people to talk to. So uh, maybe I just maybe we just go the long way around, get these people all said and done, and then uh, if there's anyone I'm missing to talk to. Uh, we don't end up missing them as we've gone the, the right way instead of the well no, we went the left way instead of the right way which is not really the wording i was looking for but uh oh it's a cat it's like it says there's someone here give her some fresh milk there we go she's ecstatic well she seems happy maybe i'll bring her some more some other absolutely Absolutely. Take care of cats all you can, folks. Well, I'll be challenging Elisa tomorrow. She may have out sprinted me and indeed scored better on the midterms, but all that's in the past. The time is nigh to show her what the great Ferris Flolard is truly capable of. And what about you, miss? Emily? Apparently they're none too pleased. Wait, what, what are you listening to? Uh, you know, Jim, uh, Jim and Sam show on Netflix. None too pleased. What's his last name? He's a comedian. Jim, something. Can't remember. Norton. He had that. The none too pleased. Use it every once in a while myself. Usus. It's a bummer that Lambert and Whitecomb are on vacation. Horse riding's been getting more and more fun with me lately, so I wanted to get another lesson in. Oh, well, I guess I just need to wait until he's back. Huh. If you're so desired, I would be willing to spare the time to teach you. Well, thanks, but no thanks. You're the last person I want help from. Uh, you know, he's more than willing. Mark my words. Willem has yet to show her true colors, and I have every intention of exposing her true reasons for joining our class. But wouldn't that be all on... The Chancellor, not necessarily on Milam. That's the way I'm thinking of it. Like, he made sure that she was joining, right? So, yeah, let's at least make her feel welcome. That's a, that's a, that's a good spot. Anybody hiding out behind here again? Dealing drugs? No, no drug dealing. Uh, that's right, the garden, and then we can do some fishing. Not too much to really bother with here. I mean, in the gymnasium, just a couple people. Some fencing going on, and... Is there someone in the pool? Monica and Laura working on the swimming again, which is always great with its giant pool. I should have sworn there was three people in here. Maybe there's someone upstairs? Oh, no. Never mind. I'm an idiot. They're all in here. Is this Patrick again? Look, Alan, your natural strength is your greatest asset. Patrick makes up for his lack with it with multiple strikes. You want to beat him, you got to find the right moment and take him in one big, powerful strike. Do it like I taught you and things will work out fine. Yes, listen to Kenny Loggins, Alan. He'll get you. First, I was planning on going like the rest of the upper class students, but then I remembered how bored I got home when I went home last year. I guess I'm more suited to staying behind and spending some quality fencing time with other club members. Nothing wrong with that, to be honest. Some people do get that. Hey, welcome back, Boris. Welcome back. Nothing going on in the boys' locker room, so we're out. We're just doing a you know a quick little uh, you know a lap around before we meet up with uh, all the others. Um, Monk, you look like you're high. Monk looks like your typical like high guy in 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 high school, just like sort of dopey looking. But um, sure, I want to get on about being dopey. You do you, Vivi. That body of hers is like I mean yeah, she is. Wait, is there two Vivis in this game? Wasn't the opera singer also named Vivi? Uh, gardening, perhaps? Hey, Fee, what do you got to offer here? 
Plants are growing up nice. I don't see no weed plants. Yeah, you can do it, flowers. I like that we're speaking with Vivi and her sister. Yeah, like, they're, they're, they're good peeps. I just couldn't bring myself to leave all the flowers behind. And these flowers are really coming on into their own, too. Oh, Vita. That's right. Sorry, my bad. It's close enough, right? Are you sure? I thought it was Vivi. No, you're right. Why Why would I be questioning someone who's, whose knowledge of that game is far bigger than mine? Oh, that looks like a goldfish or something? Now that's a catch. An arowana. I didn't even know you could rank up in fishing. So Boris, have you played any of the, like right now out there's the new, is it Reverie? Trails of Reverie, that's the one that's after Cold Steel. I, like there is ways of playing it and like I guess there's some type of English translation going out but those aren't out for a little bit. Uh, but I have seen people playing them. But that's the next, uh, that's the next one after Cold Steel, I assume. And then there's like Kuro Kaseki or, or something. There, there's a whole bunch of different ones, I think. Huh. One. Last fish. Huh. Here, fishy. Uh, that's not yet translated. I'll wait for it to get to English in a year or so. Yeah, because right now, like, we're just now getting uh, Azure and Zero um, translated, right? Like, I mean, there was the Geofront that did it. That's how I played them. Um, bought the Chinese versions and then um, just, you know, uses the Geofront thing. Uh, but now Geofront was, I don't know if they were bought or you no, know, they're working in conjunction. Regardless, they 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 are working with Nihon Falcom for for Zero and uh, Azure for the proper translation. So, I mean, if you're if you're gonna be like anything like me, it's gonna be a long while until I get to those games. And I I, I I've come across like uh, someone named uh, Neil Matter. Who's uh, is someone who also plays through these games? Currently, he's working through Xenoblade, which I'd love to play too. But like, when he plays a series, I, I'm very different. Like, as you can see, I'm playing Persona, and then after I'm done Persona, it looks like it'll probably be Final Fantasy IX because I've never played that before. Um, so like, I, I'm sort of all over the place, but I, I will still probably try to play, you know, one of these going because I don't want to lose them because I've been loving the series as we've been working through them. So. Hey, Reen, how's Crow fitting in with your class? Perfectly. It's like he's been there since our first day. Well, that's good to hear. Just make sure you get some use out of him. He might be lazy, but he knows what to do when things get serious. Well, now we have Milam too to worry about, so I'm sure I'll be relying on him quite a bit. Just feel free to ask us or Toa if you need anything. We'll try to help you out whenever we can. Yeah, Zero is this year. Azure will be released when Reverie drops. Oh, are they? Oh, oh, so Reverie is in 2023, also the same year as um, as uh, Azure. Okay. I was a little unsure of like, I guess I don't want to say unsure, but like, I own them, but I want to buy them on Steam because it's the right thing to do. Like, because that's going to show like people are still wanting them and interested in them. So I think I'll still pick them up. I mean, I paid Azure was, I think, six bucks on the Chinese Steam called Joyco Land or something. Um, Zero was a little bit easier to get. Um, we had to get like the right one that had the right uh, um, translation and whatnot. Old juice. We got everything there. So don't have to worry about too many things. How many people to chat with still in here? Calvin Klein. It's great to see my mom and little siblings. They're all happy and healthy too. But I want to make my life as easy as them as possible. About the time I decided to do with mine. Oh, that was nice. Drop bot, synth them. That's all right. 
Uh, you have it nice. I waited two years for every game after Cold Steel won. Yeah, like there's, it'll probably be a year, honestly, at least by the end of the year when I'll be finished these games, if not longer. Um, so yeah, and then by that time, like, I mean, I've played Zero and Azure, so it's not like I have to wait for them, but whether I want to replay them or not. And then um, there's Trails in the Sky, which we've played, but there's an English voiceover that some fans have been working on. So I wouldn't mind playing through those with some proper, like, I think they're doing 100% voice work. It's not 100%, um, but it was uh, something that I'm still interested in playing. Um... Did you look in the shop at any more? Oh, they do have Master Courts. They're just super expensive. I never have any money to buy them. And I also don't know which ones to buy. I should probably do that, right? Meanwhile, us commoners are all slaving away in this heat. Relax. Oh, if it wasn't for this iced tea and other frosty beverages, I'd probably collapse on my way. This guy does look flushed. Uh, I can go over there and we can discuss it, but I don't have any money. I literally have 340 Mira and 379 uh, Sepeth Mass. Yeah, it was George that sells them, right? Yeah, he's got Scepter, Wing, Mobius, Criminal, and Pan. I think Pandora is a new one. I remember he only had four before. Man, they are really good. Oh, they're so good. I'm gonna have to buy these, aren't I? Obtain Sepith from attacks and crafts. Scepter will drop, yeah. Okay, so my, my question is to you, uh, like, I mean, I can't do anything at the moment. Um, Jeff, oh, I forgot from the previous games before as well that I could exchange Sepeth for Mira. Let's have some nice round numbers. Just get a little bit of money here. Not bad. Try to save your time, but that's the one you'll need most. Oh, geez. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to come back almost like after a couple field study days. And then we'll go back and we'll get some money and things to, to spend. But like, like I'm even like, I, if there's a couple of th books that I want to get extra at the uh, pawn shop, I'm not going to be able to get them. When you have Elliot in your party, you can cook a food for profit if you like. Oh, I'd love to be cooking some stuff for profit, buds. I'd love to be doing that. Like, which which ones do you mean selling for profit? That I, I, I haven't even thought of that. I heard that Crow got switched to class seven. Makes you wonder, wait, don't tell me. Did he fall in love? Which of the boys could he be gunning for? So many possible. It's the food you got. You can buy all the items in the store. Wait, does food sell for a good amount? Is that what you're getting at? Like all the stuff that I can make? Oh, you're a black angler now. I'm impressed. 
Should have expected that from a fishing pro like you, though. You need to fish even harder so you don't overtake me. All right, it took me a while to get the hang of it, but I'm really hooked on it now. But you know what's taking a hold when you start with the fishing puns? First food omelet. Okay. How many points do I have? 352. Okay, might as well grab that. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take, oh geez. Is that worthy of getting flood? I feel like these are better. Part of a set. It's something you can cook for probably with Elliot, the best one he makes. Okay, and then you sell it. Okay, so people will buy that, eh? I was going to say throw that on lore. Maybe it'll work on B? Speed's going to go down. Salmon badge. Who is my other strength guy? I have that written down. Strength is... Laura. Could be Machias. I'll take a deeper look at that. So you can buy 99 of the two ingredients cook and then sell the foods and uh, he may profit and repeat. Okay, okay. That I will do. So that so, you, so he makes the this one and just keeps selling them. I can already make like 20 of them. I didn't know they were gonna be so so good for food. Or for, for like for selling for a price wise. Thank you for telling me that. I will go and do that. I wonder who could have left it here. There's a rather ominous air about it though, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, everything's got ominous airs about them. Oh, the question mark is one of the simple um okay. Wait, so of all of the ones... So I... Wait, I... No, I have a simple omelet. I have a simple omelet, but I still... Oh, so the one that... The, the one that he makes, though, really good, though. So if I make, like, 20 of them, just buy a bunch of fresh eggs and coarse salt, uh, and then eventually we can sell some good ones. I see. Okay. We're having our match with the upper class club tomorrow. It's time our club is on the line. Can't afford to lose. It's possible that my father might have had a hand in Milliam joining our class, given that he's on the board of directors. But I doubt he knows much more about the intelligence division's plans than we do. I think it's likely he helped facilitate or transfer the academy at the very least. They do seem to know each other. This close friendship with the chancellor might have deeper implications than I thought. I'd rather not think of that, but... Uh, only need Elliot in the party. The simple almond has the question mark, question mark. You do not need, you did not make it yet. Oh, okay. Oh, the door's so, open. as soon as he, we got him back in the party, we'll make them. Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Reem. Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. It's all on the way anyways. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. You know, Reem, I would say, I've seen some messy desks in my time, but Dave Meltzer's desk office, 
Now that's a messy desk. Is it just me or does your workload only ever- That way you can do it when you're in the old schoolhouse or a field study with Elliot. Makes sense, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Anyway, <clears throat> this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who- So now we gotta go find her and give it to her. All right. I'll be sure to pass this on to Million next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind- Oh, absolutely. Thank you with that. Yeah, like, like, I mean, I've never, like, there's only been, like, a handful of times where I've run into needing money or mirror. So, like, at most parts, I just would be like, okay, I'm not going to buy this weapon or, or whatever. Um, But for other aspects, like, it's, it's been a pain in the butt because every time I haven't had money, I've come across a new spot where I'd be like, oh, I could have, I'm, you know, could have used that or I could have bought those nice little master courts that we've been missing out on that I'd love to be leveling up right now because obviously. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. I can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that. Uh, what you can do is stack up that food that Elliot makes and the ingredients so that you can sell the food if you need money and later cook when you get Elliot. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to go and get the, the ingredients of what I could make. I mean, I could still make 20 of them, although I would just be making them myself. Even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. <laughs> yeah, I was just a shock. I mean, I guess... I guess it's all random, right? Like, you, you are going to have different opportunities of making any of them. So I could make a whole bunch of them with myself to sell. And then when I get Elliot, then buy some more. Well, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. No, no, yeah, don't, don't feel like that. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. Yeah, you're gonna need to do that. But as long as he's active and engaged with his class seven work over the next- If you make with Irene, you won't get as many good food with him, so you won't get as much profit. I don't remember too well. Okay, so Elliot's, Elliot's the guy. You want money, Elliot. Still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Am I right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Come on, spill it, Toa. Principal thought placing Crow in class seven might be beneficial for the rest of you too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Pro did that? Voluntarily? as shocked as you are kind of awkward having a second year student in your class but i hope you guys will all get along so we're 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 all first years right and then crow's a second year and then there's third years and, and whatnot right too, of course. she might have an unusual background but at the end of uh you can easily see it simply look at the cost of what you need for the omelet and money and how much it sells for in the shop yeah i get what you mean so she really is 13 then yeah she scored really well on her entrance exam, though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. One day. Oh, second year. Oh, so they're only here for two years. Okay, but so, but Crow's in his third year because he's. No, is Crow in his third year? Like, they mentioned, like, I, I guess, like, he's doing this to make up for. Sort of not doing it. <laughs> she might be small. I sort of would have thought this would have been like a high school. So you would have done like four years, but I don't remember anyone uh, being mentioned about it. So <laughs> now where have I heard of someone like that before? Uh, 
Appreciate it, Boris. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. Oh my god. Why does my wife have to have her TV so loud? I just realized how annoying that was because uh, Reen's just holding on to him, but I had to grab another beer. I wouldn't want me to miss anything at all. <laughs> uh, all right. Excuse me, then. Just answer the goddamn phone, Reen. Christ. Hello? Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor. It is my favorite instructor. I am. As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> Don't need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. Oh, great. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? Well, I get to play babysitter of some sorts. That's fantastic. <sighs> all right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of class seven. Well, wait a second, when did I become the... <laughs> it, 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 is he still questioning at chapter five? Whether or not he doesn't see himself as the leader. I mean, basically every assignment anyone hands us out on, it's all like, you're the leader. You're, you're the reasoning of this type of thing. She really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Absolutely, Toa. Send him on off. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. Are any of the future... I've asked this to others before, and... Are the other games more so voiced than this one? Because I, I guess, like, I was fully expecting this game to be fully voiced, and it's not. Like, you know, it, it's... The more important parts are, but... I was fully expecting it to be almost all voiced type of thing. Well, she probably asked a couple of the others for help. Doubt I'll accomplish much, just checking places at random. Come to think of it, I haven't even gotten Crow's number yet either. I think two other classmates will be enough for this, so I should remember to ask him when I get a chance. Um. Ooh. If I can add Elliot, then we can make some food. Um, and... Usus. Trails is too big to be fully voiced, most story. Okay, I mean, I understand that it's a big game, and I'm coming from games like, um, like even Persona isn't fully voiced, and that's a big game. A lot of it is, but uh, they have probably a little bit more money than, say, Nihon, Falcom. Final Fantasies, like, I've played back in the day, I'm old, like, Dragon Quest, those aren't, like, again, those are coming up, like, the older Final Fantasies I'm referring to, obviously. Um... Whereas now Square Enix has thrown a lot of money at Dragon Quest and, and Final Fantasy to have them fully voiced. But I haven't, the last, the last Final Fantasy I played was 10. That was the last one I passed. Like I, I like I played the 7 remake, I guess we want to say that. Um, I don't like how that's all separate things, but whichever, like I said, this looks like 9 will be our next playthrough as, as people have uh, shown about, so... I'm so happy that they just made me pick them. I did not want to go and find Eusis and Elliot. To, hey, do you want to go join me? Like, no. Well, Daphne doesn't seem very smart to just leave her to wander around on her own. I imagine it's such a change of scenery for her that she's just walking around and taking it all in. Yeah, I think you're right, but I doubt she's left the Academy grounds yet, so we should be able to find her. I'll just have to think. If I were new here, be some of the more places that'd be interesting to me. Gotcha. Well, we just really need to get her back to the dormitory at once. All right, so... 
Where was the... Okay, it wants us to go basically everywhere. Wasn't it the student union building that had the... That had the... The things? Uh, so I guess so first of all, let's let's just make the maximum amount. No, first of all, let's see what we items we need Simple omelet eggs horse rock salt Oh, he's got a new one nice So happy I actually checked that uh, So he okay, so she's the one that has them yeah, other side. Ooh. She doesn't have... them either. But let's see, what does uh, what does an omelette sell for? 30. And that's a shitty omelette. Oh yeah, so some things are selling for quite... quite some nice prices, like 250... So you make a hundred of those things. Okay, that's not too bad. There's some money to be had. Um, but yeah, she doesn't. Oh, is it is it maybe the the chef inside? Does he sell things? Chief Ramsey, Chef Ramsey, Chief Ramsey. No. Huh. Guess I'll have to go to. I mean, it was just like the general store. So I guess we're still running around, still trying to find her. That's okay. Well, let's let's make some just to see what we get. Let's just make some. Let's make fifteen. Now the other food will make a break. Hold on, it's Trista that sells food. All right, so pick uh, Reen and Elliot. This turns out okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this looks pretty nice. <laughs> this is my special. Oh, so the, the so the warm egg soup is the one that sells really good. Let's see what that sells for. bad 80 again when it's very easy to to pick those up that's not bad okay why is it though like ones like these ones sell terribly like this wasn't even a good one regardless all right moving on up finding out where this place is gonna be Pretty much anywhere. Do I want to just go around the other way? No, because we're still gonna go to the gym. Oh, and then there's still the okay. So basically go anywhere. I love like the this the 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 music too is just oh Can you imagine we just ran into her right in the first place. So this is the orbital bike everyone was talking about. I wanna try it. Still need some fine tuning before you're gonna be able to do that. You buy them in the store, all the ingredients you need for the omelet. I think that's the Trista. Yeah, as soon as they let us into Trista, we'll be able to pick those things up for us. Do you use um, Discord, Boris? I only ask, I was like, I, I don't know how it comes across of like how you come across like when I have a stream up. Like, do you just stick around on Twitch? Do you have notifications on? It's not that I need anybody to go, okay. Whether it tickles your fancy, I just throw it up there like-minded cold steel fans you kind of want to have a race though like i want to see if lammy's faster than your bike i don't even know what this lammy is but take some guts to challenge me to a race i'm really starting to take a liking to you well it didn't take long for those two to hit it off george and Angelica, are angel angelica angel a little eh, uh, are good at taking care of people Hey, what's up? Truth is, so we explained that uh, why we need her to go back. No way, there's still plenty I want to do. If that's how you're going to play it, then I'm not going to let you catch me. All right, toodles. 
All right, very well. Look forward to seeing you again. Catch you later. And off she goes. And, and, and again, I love having Cold Steel or, or Trails viewers come in here. I mean, why else would you come in here? But I love just bouncing out because this doesn't bother me. Like, I'm coming off of the games being sprite-based, 2D, right? So this is the first time that I see Cold Steel um, or the Trails games in 3D. I see, like, a lot of people on Reddit, Twitter, a few of the places, like, sort of like, oh, like, you know, it loses some of its charm. But I've read that the later games, like Cold Steel 3 and 4... Um, and then Reverie, which they're all using the, the engine, they all become, um, you know, they, they sort of realize like how to properly utilize the 3D world a little bit better. This one seems a little bit more open than I guess one would think. Um, and I've had, I've heard rumors that they may do Trails in the Sky remaster using these or this engine, the 3D engine, which would be cool. Why not? But, um... To me, I like the sprite stuff. I don't think you really need to remaster it, but we are getting into a world where Nihon Falcom has decided to launch two games, the Crossbell arc, that wasn't even available to your average person. Um, so you, there is obviously an audience for them that is interested. So, you know, that's good. Let's go search somewhere else. She took off already. I don't think she went to the old schoolhouse, no. I'm sure that'll be tomorrow. Go to the old schoolhouse! That'll probably be how to wrap up the day type of thing. Are you in here? Oh, you went swimming. Oh, you're upstairs. God damn! <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Wow, look at all that water. That's got to be refreshing. I kind of want to take a dip. Huh, I finally found you. Oh, hey, Reen. Do you know if I get to take swimming lessons while I'm here? I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't. Has Instructor Sarah given you your school swimsuit yet? Nah, uh, all I got today was my uniform. She told me I'd get it tomorrow. But I can't wait, though. I wish I could go swimming right now. You don't know what the word lesson means, do you? <laughs> you guys think too much. Besides, all this pool talk really wants me to go swim. Oh, I know. Uh, Milliam? Yeah, sure. Ta-da! I can wear this. It's totally waterproof and dries in no time. Now it's no problem if I get wet. Uh... Milliam, don't do it. Oh, oh, is she just jumping from here? She just yeeted herself like a linity throwing a cat right into the pool. Does she know how to swim? Well, apparently so. Uh, three games. Uh, there was one before Sky that has nothing to do with it. Nayutu no Kaseki. That is an action RPG. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was... That was that was one thing I uh, when I was looking up the Legend of Heroes series, like I get like I don't know, was that PC? Was that Super Nintendo, PlayStation? We should go get her. But again, I guess it's not related, just an action RPG. Isn't the I don't know how to say it. The 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 YS games? Aren't those action RPGs? Made by the same company? She timed her escape perfectly. She was heading towards the girl's locker room, so you probably just missed her. She must have run because she didn't want us to haul her back to the dorm. I guess we have to get back to chasing her. Right you are again. What a beer. Cronenberg White. Been a while. Usually I get these when I go out to a patio. Sitting outside, but... Hasn't been quite as nice outside. I could just sit on my balcony and drink one too, right? All right. It's okay. I I have a lot of things going on in my brain half the time, Boris. That I'm just like, I'll I'll just shout out things, and and sometimes things stick for people, and sometimes they don't. 
what it is. Next, I want to ride a horse. Is, is that what you want to do here, Milliam? Is this what you'd like to do? She's going to come bursting out of here either wearing or with Lammy or with a horse. Onward, mighty speed. Full speed ahead. Oh, no. Oh, God. This absolutely means trouble. Oh, hey, everybody. Are you still chasing me? What in the world are you up to? <laughs> it's been so long since we went horse riding in Nord. I thought I'd give it another shot. This is so fun. Totally different than flying around on Lammy. Uh, can someone please control this girl? <laughs> oh, get off now. You won't get any sympathy from me if you hurt yourself. Oh, Why do you have to be so stubborn, Eusis? You must get that from your dad. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. And how would you know what my father's personality is like to begin with? Well, William even managed to throw in Eustace for a loop. Who cares? I'm on a horse now. Time to ride to the highway. Hi, yo. Oh, please don't go to the highway. Well, if you don't pick Eustace for your party, uh, he's the one. Oh, okay. That'd be even more hilarious. Million, wait. Oh, God. After riding around with the terrified Paula for what seemed like an eternity, she finally came to a stop. She's going to start kissing the ground. Oh, thank I, Deus. That was the best. We should totally do it again sometime. Are you okay? Oh, I'm still breathing somehow. What a foolish child. <laughs> She probably could stand to lower her energy level just a little bit. Hopefully she'll slow down by the time we catch up to her. I'm going to start looking in. So does, does she have the same thing with Eusis of where just rides around and Eusis has just basically had enough? Uh, where else are we heading here? Oh, now she's back in the main building. God. Like, I don't have a problem with this, this world. Like, the, my only complaint that I've seen other people say is that um, for everything, it, it, it's so giant, There, it, it seems like it's a dead city. Like, there's not a lot of hustle and bustle in and around the areas, right? But it doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah, she slaps the horse and takes it the same way. Okay. Uh, she must be on the rooftop. And it's much funnier when Eustace is on the horse. There's so much cool stuff here. So this is Thor's military academy, huh? I think I'm gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder what the view from the rooftop's like. Well, take a look. Huh? Oh, no. Hmm. I just thought for a hot second, I was like, oh, as soon as she sees where that leads. Should have guessed you'd be here. Hi, you guys. Did you come looking for me again? Don't give me that hi, you guys. We've been chasing you all around the academy grounds. How about you stop playing around and come back to the dorm? Oh, sure thing. After the chase you led us on, you're just giving up that easily? Well, I've seen enough for one day, and tomorrow's a free day, so that's when I can really start exploring. Looks like she's planning an encore performance tomorrow. Trist is a small place, so it's normal for it to be peaceful, and most bigger towns you visit, it's only small. Yeah, like, coming from Heimdall, like, you got a sense of how big everything was like the palace was huge but like even still we were only going into small districts which were you know almost about the size of the academy grounds per se right so there's nothing that was too big type of thing can you just shut the door buddy just shut your door please yeah can you just shut your door why not 
All right, let's get her back to the dorms before she changes her mind. I agreed. You may also want to consider a leash. Wowzers, that was so much fun. This town's got a nice feel to it too. I think I'm gonna like it here. I wonder where I should go tomorrow. Well, I'm glad someone's having fun, though maybe you could spare a thought for the people who've been running all over the school grounds looking for you. Here, here. Oh yeah, we should exchange Arcus numbers, Milliam. We need to be able to reach you quickly if there's ever an emergency. Sure thing. Um, my number is, um, what? Tell everyone else when you get back to the dorms, okay? Will do. All right. I should try calling Lecter and Claire later. I bet they'd be surprised. Yeah, especially that Lecter guy. Wait. It does make you think of like, because when Lecter, when you're playing uh, Crossbell games, he's always having conversations. It does make you wonder if he's having conversations with like Milam at a time. You don't know who Milam is at the point in time, but it is interesting to think of it that way. Well, I must admit, it makes for quite the effective charade. Oh, by the by, what happened to that big thing of yours? Oh, you mean Lammy? He's right here. Wait, wait, what? Come on out. No, Jesus. I think that's Russian. What? Milan, don't call him out here or you'll... Whoa, what's that? It's like a huge silver doll. That's so cool. Is it yours? Awesome. Sure is, isn't he? Whatever that meant. This is not good. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. She's going to be living at the academy. I need to find some way to drill some common sense into her. Yeah, damn right. Eventually, we we're able to pull the kids away and convince them to go back home. After forcing Milliam to hide... Argus Lamb again. We made the trek back to the dorm, sighing all the way. Hey guys, welcome back. Hi, Crow. Welcome back, everyone. Sharon! Sharon is still here. I thought Sharon was done here. Make myself at home here. C Crow? Why are we shocked to see him here? He's part of our, our like, do we assume he wasn't going to be living here? I feel like if you're part of class seven, you live in here. Why are you in our dorm? Because he's part of a class well, seven? I am a member of class seven now, so I've been given the go. Yeah, why is it so shocking? What? That seems rather abrupt. But man, Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join class seven months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and you flatter me, Master Crow. Green means he's a commoner, right? Crow means it's, he's a commoner. White is the nobles, and then the red is the class seven. Would you like me to bring some Despite that everyone now is wearing white well? because it's hot in summer. <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's good to be here. Hmm. Looks like he's already made himself at home. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? That's great. Yep. Us newcomers have to stick together, right? I, I think so. I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Great. Uh, I see. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. Ooh, man. Moving Sharon on. has a funny last name, same as an old yeah. horror movie. Sharon Kruger. She's not as scary though, and she doesn't come after us in our dreams either though. But I did not know that. Boris coming on in with the facts. I think it would have been weirder if she did. <laughs> he must be pretty exhausted. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. I mean, I didn't even think of it. Like, this game has, like, the, the thing in my Arcus where I can look up everybody I've interacted with, where I could have probably seen her last name mentioned there, right? Just treat me like one of the gang, and we're golden. You sure about that? Really? You think so? 
I mean, maybe because I'm an older guy. I'm I'm 40. I I I watched Nightmare on Elm Street. I I know who Freddy Krueger is. But I guess I guess if you think of nowadays, like when was the last Freddy movie, or when was the last thing Freddy was even in? Like he probably was in like that video game Dead by Daylight, probably right. That's probably the only thing people would have known from. Like what about uh, Jason from Friday the 13th too? Do people know who he is? All right, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time, though. How old are you, Boris? If you don't mind me asking. <sighs> if you insist. <laughs> well, don't strain yourself too hard there, Blondie. Oh, okay. You to never call me that again. <laughs> We're gonna come to blows here eventually. And if you guys don't mind, I want to get in on the action when you explore the old schoolhouse tomorrow. Got to get back in the groove with my. Thirty-one. Nice. Huh? A schoolhouse? A schoolhouse. Who'd want to go to school on their day off? It's not what you think, Milliam. Well, we've got this, uh... Special! special schoolhouse. Schoolhouse here. Whoa, really? That sounds kind of cool. I mean, and the thing is, too, now, like, I, I always refer to it as horrible hour. It's funny. Um, but, um... Like, now I have... Well, Mill no, they both sort of came with with arts already, so I might have to just throw on a couple more for Millam and Crow. And now too. she's yeah. Well, so she did, see what I thought was when she was looking over the rooftop and saw that area, I thought she was gonna jump off the rooftop with Lammy and go over there, and then we we're gonna have to go into the old schoolhouse, and she had gone inside, and then we we're gonna have to do a, a mission inside there, and then that's how we rescued her type of thing. That's how I thought it was going. Anyways, it obviously didn't. So. How did I know you were going to say that? Didn't I just get done telling you how dangerous it is? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. As long as I've got Lammy, it'll be easy peasy. So can I ask you a question, Boris? I have written down on my, my little sheet here, uh, lots of things, um, how I build characters and whatnot. But I didn't know um, Milliam and Crow were going to be part of the members. So I have like it written down of all these people here, what they're going to be. Um, so like I have written down like Reen's a high damage evade, Guys is an evasion tank, Laura's a tank with high health, Elisa's a range with support, Usus all around. But I don't have written down Milliam and Crow. What would they be considered uh based on my 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 takings here? They're gonna be party members. I mean I know I've used them somewhat. Uh, I do not know. <laughs> I'll bet she really would, too. All right, all right. Have it your way. Thank you, Phantom Grimoire. Range DPS and Milliam is uh, a strength like Laura. Thank you. Thank you, both of you guys. Welcome on in, Phantom. How are you? All right, just write that down. Strength. So is she is she high health as well, or is she, or would she be like an evasion tank with strength? And then he's a ranged DPS. I I almost called that with Pro. Does he? I assume he uses a gun. Does he? Uh, does he use like? I assume he wouldn't use a shotgun like, uh, like Machias. I would assume they wouldn't go down that route twice. I assumed he would either have a, uh, either one pistol, a couple of pistols, maybe something like Ellie. Maybe he's got like a giant hand cannon. I'll be sure to let you and Crow know when I'm planning on heading into the old schoolhouse tomorrow. But don't just go wandering in there on your own without us, all right? Yes, sir! Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like down Yeah, it'll be fun taking you through there. That'll be great. Uh, for evade, you're best going with feet. Yes, I do have her written down as, as an evasion tank uh, fee. Smacking all of those, um, all those points towards her. I think I only had it written down for um, for Reen was because I think his one thing evades a couple of things based on the, the the build I have for him. <laughs> Looks like I better give my pistols a little TLC. Yeah, with the buff you can have fifty percent. Yeah, for fee. Yeah. And that concludes my overview of the next field study schedule. How are things coming along on your end, Instructor Valstein? Well, I 
have contacted all the relevant authorities and considered this group placement for the two transfer students. Excellente. Let me ask you once more. Are you both certain that you're in favor of going forward with this? I do feel like it may be a bit early for them, but I see no reason not to. The students here, they're going to have to face it sooner or later. I am in full support. Furthermore, I've already secured the Lieutenant General's permission to proceed. Very well then. We'll continue as planned. What's the matter? You want a new show? Okay. All right, we're going to continue on plan. I just wonder what that plan is. This reality. Class 7. You're going to have to face. Uh, and Pandora Master Quartz adds uh, more damage there. It's only bad side is it uses more EP. Pokemelon? Okay. There you go. Yeah, you and I, maybe we're going to have to go over the, the whole Master Quartz thing and then we can... Figure out who goes where. Signs and omens. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That's a great hello, isn't it? Just just coming on in here and um no, I'd love to hang out in the dormitory. Why would I want to stay in my room? Be a homebody. It is I mean, right? I mean, it's the yeah 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 bass, and then they have uh, yeah 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 yeah. So, you know, there, there's little bits of everything. So, well, right across. There he is. We got Crow. <laughs> Yo, sure didn't take you long to pay me a visit. Would have thought we'd end up right across from each other. I guess you just faded to be a part of my life, huh? Aside from, yeah, that everyone loves the, the, the crazy-haired person. Soapy! Ahoy, ahoy, welcome on in. How are you? Well, they're all coming out of the woodwork now. How, how's Ohio this lovely afternoon, Chelsea? Still feel strange knowing you're going to be living here from now on. It happened all so suddenly that it really hasn't even sunk in yet. Ha, <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to hold back your joy at getting to live with a cool second year all the time. Yeah, I guess you did help me out a little bit in a big way last month down the old schoolhouse. But I couldn't help notice you've got quite the collection of games here. Sure do. Brought them all over from my old dorm room. I'm more, I'm more a little interested in the, uh, in the, in the, the, the lovely picture by his bed. Wolf Slayer. <gasps> it's five o'clock somewhere. There we go. We got that in. I was just so happy you showed up. Really, really am. Hotter than Satan's taint. I'm homesick, so it could be. But I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Soapy. Crow and Randy share the posters. Not exactly smelling like rose as far as credits go, but I give yourself. I, we we do have shower facilities around here, right? I think so. Surely we must. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's. I'm on my second beer, so like, I mean, I, you, you weren't here for the first one, but I am working on something. I'm working on something. Anyways, we're classmates. Dorm buds now, so be sure to keep it casual between us. I'm sure you'll get used to it soon enough. Well, I'll try at least. I hope I can I can chill you out a little bit from here on out there, uh, Soapy, and make you forget all about your your little homesickness. He's got like some car. I, I'm I'm liking Crow. I'm like yeah. No, is that a little, is that under boob I see? I think so. I think so. Who doesn't love a good under boob? Rena's like, give me like my 50, right? I mean, back then I was, I was unsure of like, I couldn't figure out how much Amira was like to, to at the start of the game. Like I know from playing the games how much Amira was, but I was like, well, yeah, still played me. Played me. At least Crow, I would have assumed Crow would have had like a bunch of used underwear littered all over the ground. You, you know, it wouldn't have been, you know, something that, uh, you know, I, I didn't picture him having a clean room, although I know he just moved in. So that would also be something super terrible. Like imagine you just moving in and already you just have 
you know, holy underwear everywhere like Wolf Slayer does. Hey, what are you reading, Nusis? Oh, it's just you. Don't surprise me like that. Is that a letter from your brother? Not quite. It's nothing terrible important. It dawns on me that tomorrow will be our first free day since Crow and Milliam joined the class. You'll have to watch Milliam like a hawk to ensure she doesn't stir up any trouble. No, you like talking about Angelica? Maybe, yes, exactly. Mommy's in the living room. We'll see. We'll see Mommy. She's in the living room. Mommy's home today. We'll see her. Hey, look at you working on some violining. Tomorrow's the big day. Oh yeah, it's for I forgot the wind orchestra thing. So maybe like would would Elliot not be not be in? Ah, of course he's part of the whole whole charade. How's the workday going, guys? You only got like what twenty minutes left? Surely, right? So maybe it is almost five o'clock somewhere for some of you. I mean, surely, you know you're being treated like kings in Ohio, right? You know, after the workday, you put the laptop down. I won't tell anyone if you just decide to leave early, Wolf Slayer. I'll tell you that much. So only one of you can start with the box of wine. That's fine enough. Good to see you guys. How have you been? I assume a busy morning? You're filling in for Habel. I probably butchered that name, but uh, that's okay. Or right, we can go upstairs and then... Oh, wait. Oh, that's my room. I don't want to go back there. Three meetings. Terrible. How many meetings can one person have? It's 2038 by me, 1030. Well, it's well past drinking hours for us there, Boris. Discord failed to notify me you were on, but it's been moderately busy. Discord does that. So does Twitch. Their, their notifications are crap everywhere. Is it so difficult to do so? I guess so, but it's okay. It's not like I'm wrapping it up anytime soon. I'll save that for when Baker decides to show up on in, and then we'll then we'll act like it's like, oh, we're leaving. Actually, we've been doing that on Nate rather unfairly lately. And I feel really bad about it. But if that Baker character comes on in, all bets are off. Okay, what are you doing in here? Jesus. Couldn't you go outside with that thing? Should learn from example and keep improving myself every day. Yeah, sure you should. Okay, yep, all right, off we go. Oh, walked into that thing. So we have Crow and uh, Milliam have joined uh, the ranks over us at Class 7 now. New characters are always good. I didn't know Fee had like a, a shoe obsession. Those look like some old school Converse, maybe. Guess the Stregas will do. Isn't Strega a classic shoe brand? Never knew you're so discerning about your shoes. She got some Jordans. She got some. Uh, she got everything, I guess. Wait, did you say 2038 would be past 10? Wouldn't it be past 8? Uh, yes, I fucked that up. 22 would be 10 o'clock. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Digress. And we and the thing is, we use military time at my work, so that's even worse. Even worse. It's the same one Estelle uses. Yep. Hey, Reen, what's up? Got my room all nice and tidy. This is a lot of stuffed animals. Like, a ton. I know, right? I just wish I was allowed to bring Lammy out in the dorm. He'd really tie the place. Yeah, you probably don't want to be bringing that thing in here. I mean, I don't know if he, like, sleeps or whatever, but don't just have him tearing on up everything. Still not as many stuffed animals as me? Wait, is your room just like covered in all? Do you have do you have any weird clowns that scare Wolf Slayer from time to time? Just one that just has its weird eyes open all the time. It's like he's a dog or something. What are these? Nice little pins. I'm liking her room. She's got a lot of things. No, but I have a massive stuffed unicorn. Oh. Let's see, like how big are we talking here? Like, if you wanted to ride this massive unicorn around, could you? Whose room is this? This has got to be Sarah's room. 
judging by all the alcohol laid on in the boat. All right. My whole side of the ha headboard, I was gonna read that as hashboard, I don't know why, stuffed animals. Some stuffed animals that ended up in Wolf's closet and I have a ton more in the studio. It's like four feet tall. Fair enough. I, I so on I, I noticed that you said on your side of the headboard. Have your have yours started to creep in on Wolf Slayer's side of the head? Because I'm going to assume that Wolf Slayer's headboard side is relatively empty. Maybe a light, or unless you have a night table stand for that as well, but you know it's I'm assuming you might be creeping in on his side every once in a while, and I'm just here to speak up for, for my friend there, okay? I think that's Sharon's room. Actually, he has more headboard space than I do. Wait, why? Don't you guys split the, the, the thing evenly? See the doll on the side of the bed of Millen's room? That is from Natuya no Kase Oh, now I have to look at that again. Her room was over here. So which which one? This one? Like one of these ones? Like the the, the weird looking Paddington Bear one? Like I know these are Mishies. I know that. Well, yes, but we have half and half of the top, and he has two of the bottom shelf areas where oh okay. I guess we kind of share the middle. Of them. Okay. Yeah, like on, in, on on our bed, we have, or it, it could be this one. I've never seen this one before. Also, I've never seen the penguin, but looks like that might be like a prinny. Is that supposed to be like a prinny from like Disgaea? So this one, this creepy looking thing. See, I would have thought from a previous games, um, that doll would have been like, um, oh, what was the doll maker from near Crossbell? Like one of those weird ones. Anywho. Yeah, we have like the like we have top headboard, but the uh then we also have like side things to fill in. And I have for some apparent reason an Xbox 360 controller in there. Should probably get rid of it. Because you know it doesn't work anymore. Hey Vic! Pink hair is from the very first Legend of Heroes games called Nayutu no Kaseki, but it's not translated in old to play. Pink hair doll. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Boris was mentioning that earlier. Um. Yeah. Yeah. How old is that game? Yes, the Rosenberg doll. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Was a Rosenberg doll. Thank you. The Rosenberg Studios, where that guy was a little weird, but like, not terribly terrible to us. I thought there was far more to him than meets the eye, and then there really wasn't. He just was like always like, "Don't you go stumbling around my mansion." You had a show at Coco Melon. Okay. Yeah. Crackers. crackers, you like those? Yeah. Oh no, it doesn't look that way. If only we could understand her. Yes, I mean we have we need we need the cat to talk like Morgana so we understand the English. Um, or maybe we could learn to speak cat. Um, it's getting a remake soon in the future, so... Oh, wow! That'd be great. I never heard about that. That's always great to see remakes of things. Um, and back to your room in Russ. What if I wanted to go outside? Oh, that's not outside. I'm the, Oh, wait. Who's just hanging out in here? Sharon! Lady Sarah will be returning home late today. She made a mention of an important discussion with the principal. <gasps> Am I in trouble? No. They're just talking about some weird thing. Uh, with, uh, you know, the, uh, Neidhart as well. I don't know what's going on, so. But it, so, as far as I know, and I, I Boris touched on as well, that this Neyutu no Kaseki has nothing to do with the Trails series, right? It's just a completely separate game, and then they, and then they found Trails made them a bunch of money, so they just went that route. That old man, from what I was thinking, uh, do with the Doll Knight uh, books you might find on Sky, at least what I think. Ah, uh, okay. Why can't we go out late at night? Why is that a thing? Okay. 
Mommy gave it to you. I didn't give it to you. There you go. All right. Call it a day. We visited everybody. So I want to give you some advice there, Wolf Slayer. If you ever do give up the middle end, you'll never recover it ever again. Once, once a woman has taken a certain side of whether it's the bed or some storage area, you will never regain that ever again. It's not, it's not going to happen. It's, there's no recovering that. Your, your closet that has things in it, gone. That is now her closet. It's not yours anymore. So try not to give up any more of those things because the, the more you let them slide into your, your, your side, it's no longer your, your closet. Student council task for August. Old schoolhouse mystery. Who would have thought? Does anyone in class seven actually read these? Yes, I do. Although I'm not part of class seven. I'm just like in charge of everybody. If I wrote whatever I wanted here, would they investigate the old schoolhouse regardless? Perhaps I should tell you use this opportunity to tell a joke. I know just the one. Two men walk into a bar. Instructors Neidhart and Thomas. And perhaps the other one says the other. Oh, blasted. I'm out of the room was weird they say it's not connected but i think they might connect it to the trail series in the future but that's your theory i like theories i like theories they work side by side car we're adding a new feature to the bike and we want you to give it a test run come see us in the engineering building when you're ready to give her a ride and from barrel not cheryl barrel lately the other girls have been going on about the seven mysteries of the academy. I desire this grim knowledge. If you do too, visit the Occult Research Society Club Room in the Student Union Building. This is from Beryl, Year 1, Class 3. I will visit her first, because she's funsies um, and weird. And she's got a crystal ball. Um, yeah. Let me go take a pee. Be right back, because, you know, beer and drinks. Eat your lunch. I'll be right back. Um, I guess people would like to hear songs, right? Oh god, I can't even type. This is the problem. There it is. Be right back, folks. <laughs>
Hi, I'm back. So Toa seemed pretty swamped when I saw her too. Not sure what's keeping her so busy, but I want to do what I can to lighten the burden. And then there's the old schoolhouse. Gotta free up some time for that. And that's like the given. Like, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Reveal. Uh oh, wait, is something mean happening here? Yeah, best not to think about that. I promised to tell Crow and Milliam when I was going, so I'll have to give them a call when I'm ready to head on in. Oh, wait, you're leaving early today? You gonna make me some food? Bye. Oh, yeah, I was just about to head on out. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Do take care, Bye. then. Sky is looking a little ominous today, yeah. so bring an umbrella. Bye. Oh, you want Prime? Eat your food. Oh, perhaps it is right now, but I have a hunch it won't last most of the day. Either way, pray you'll have another fruitful day. Which one do you want, buddy? This one? Good job. Yeah, there's a train. Somewhere, there's always a train. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I'll see you later. All right, I'm like, am I supposed? Oh, so wait. Did I just get the special op? Oh, we have four opportunities to hang out with people. What is what is this outfit? Oh. What is a special ops outfit? It's not what we're wearing now. Regardless, um, we got four people to hang out with. Is anyone here? I don't think so. Bruh. Let's just leave the area, Jordan. Jeez Louise. Uh, Milliams. Oh, okay. But we don't have her, like, in the... Oh, we do. Oh, is that what she's wearing? A breaker breaker, I have seen. All right, she's got good things on. Seem to throw in some accessories, I guess. Yeah, for him and Crow, her and Crow. Oh God, guy. God, this is what I hate. They always remove the. That's the outfit she made dive into the. Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, he uses exactly what I thought. A much bigger weapon than I thought it was. Way, way... That's a giant... That. If you're an American, you'd be happy about that. Jesus. Cranky. Um... Yeah, that might actually be better. The Earth Vest. All right, I'll worry about the accessories afterwards. So who is there to hang out with? We're going to go to the pawn shop. Uh, there's lots of people to, to do. All right, first, let's just let's just do that. Pawn shop. What are we missing, first of all? We, uh, there's books and whatnot and read all those. All right, so we have all these. We're missing three and four of the Carnelia reprint. And I want, I want to get them because we've been pretty good with Getting everything else, but apparently not that. And this guy's always a jerk off to us, anyways. As soon as we come in here, oh, you're looking for this? Heaven forbid I sell you something. It doesn't have anything. Yeah, apparently that changes every once in a while. So if I come back, you might have those things. At least I've been told, so. Alrighty. What do we got? Um, there's a home. There's the goods. Lassage. The bookstore. The perfect, perfect, and, and I guess we're going to go to the military academy to go hang out with people. I'm actually shocked that there isn't anybody here. Usually there's someone here. Uh, 
What do you have in the exchange? Oh, yeah, give me a second. I'll, I'll take a look. Uh, what do you got? Uh, did you know that some of the collectible novels in the game are actual characters in Trails games that are either referenced or future appearing characters? I did not know that, Vic. You're always dropping the, that sweet, sweet knowledge on us. Um, what was the what was the thing I needed? Was it fresh eggs or fresh milk? I can't remember. And you're not the bookstore, so you weren't even what I was thinking. Is this where we buy weed? I think so. Of course, they're never there. It's getting very toasty these days. It, you can't tell me that the game developers didn't decide to throw up here that the flower shop is run by someone named Jane. You can't tell me that was just like some weird coincidence. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. Uh, eggs and salt. Thank you. Thank you, Boris. Always helpful, my friend. Always. Okay, so we've been there. Lady Jane runs the flower shop. Let's not look too past that one. Bookstore might have something new for us. Uh, we have that. Essence of Lacroix. Oh my god, everything's just so expensive. Big book of instruments. Advanced court fencing. And coffee. Which we already bought, this, so we don't need this again. I wonder if Elise has read this. Should ask her later, as in like later, like right now. That's gonna be with Elliot. So you need 60 mirror to make the omelet and sail it first if I'm not right. Okay, so so someone did the math for me. That's that's that was great. This should be useless. Better eat your lunch. Let's talk shop with Keens. I read in the Imperial Chronicle that they're no closer to tracking down that Imperial Liberation Front. Gotta be pretty brazen group to be trying some of these stunts they've pulled. Oh well. I don't they'll last long now that we've got Princess Alfin involved. I don't think that's how that works. So you know, 20, 20 profit ain't too bad. Yeah, that's right. Like usually Crow was hanging out at the cafe. Not here today. Some ingredients I ordered will follow back came in. So I'm trying to cook up the very stuff that you see every day. Rare cuisine here. I don't know if I've got the flavor down right though. Well, let's see what you got. Absolutely nothing brand new. Bunch of these crazies doing. Talking about food stalls, eh? Only Elliot makes some of the other food too, so don't know the sale price of it. Okay. So again, it'd be it'd be best for me if I want to just make a bunch of them omelets. Just, you know, choose Elliot. I mean, so does this go for everything of like, you know how everyone, I'll show you, as these two don't shut up. Um, oh God. So let's say I go to recipe, right? So we see down at the bottom, like Elliot has a crown over his head to make a simple omelet. Does that mean he will make all of them? And then, you know, same with Elise. If I want to make a sweet cookie, we're missing a cookie. 
But if I pick uh, Elise to make that, is she going to make that one? I don't know. Like, not everyone has a crown. Like, I don't know if that's not because someone hasn't made some. Like, I don't remember the simple omelet. I don't remember Elliot having a crown over his head before. So, like, the same with a, with a, with Elisa here. Like, and I can't choose anyone, so that's out. It's out to lunch. Gaius, what are you doing here? What's that you're drinking? Booze? Oh, it's tea brewed with herbs from Nord. Weed tea, essentially. Uh, same kind you drank when we were there on field study. Fred managed to get his hands on some and treated me to a cup. Really? That's nice of him. Should I join him? Um, you know what? Yeah. Let's have some. Ah, smells really soothing. Reminds me of the tea I used to drink home. Now I want to see Thoma and everyone else again. Kind of reminds me of the delicious food we had there too. Now I'm getting hungry. Well, I think the solution for that is I've got a job for you. The crown is excellent food. You only get that after someone makes the best food. Oh, so, so now Elliot will only make the excellent food. Is that what you're saying? He won't make any shitty versions or anything. Oh, what kind of job? I've been thinking up some new stuff for our menu. Figured I'd try my hand at a classic from Nord, so it's not going too hot. Uh, you can see who's uh, good with the food by the face of the portrait. Yes, okay. Oh, I see. Guys would be the man to ask for that stuff. Yeah, I'm happy to help, especially if you're promising me more tea. I'll see your tea and raise your taste test privileges on everything I make. Now, come on over here. Got all the ingredients ready, I see. I think pheasant wraps will be a good place to start. Oh man, now we're talking. Trust Gaius to make it look easy. Huh, I made my fair share of dinners back in Nord. Mind if I use your stove? Elliot will make the best food around 70 to 80% of the time. Sometimes he's going to make the second best one. That is the top of the list. Okay. Hey, did we just get like some new food here? That'll work. Well, those are great, but maybe I should have expected that from someone who grew up making them. What do you think, Reen? I'm definitely not bad, but just lacking a little something. I figured as much might know the reason why maybe you can do like that little sprinkle of the salt thing like that guy on on youtube tv whatever it was tiktok be okay for me to make another batch hey i'll keep eating them if you keep making them right back to cooking again after this second round of tasting began munch munch whoa i don't know what you did this tastes way better than before. Yeah, now this lives up to what we ate up there. What'd you do differently, Thurl? Well, it seems like I just wasn't thorough enough when I prepared the weed. Mostly because it's been so long since I tried making any of that home cooking. But your criticism remind me of just what I was missing. Great! Not only does my cooking get better, yours does too. Thanks a lot. Both of you. New menu's gonna knock them dead. Well, can't wait to try it. It's kind of nice to know our food left a lasting impression on you. Well, when I eat something delicious, I tend to remember it. I gotta admit though, it kind of makes me miss Nord. You're telling me? Well, hopefully, I'll have the chance to bring it all back here someday. So, the happy face is great food, the somewhat happy face is good food, and then the sad face is bad food, and they'll show over the photos of the people you try to cook with. Okay, thank you, Boris. Thank you. Surely we would have got at least some pheasant wraps out of this. No, no pheasant wraps. Does he offer anything new now? He does not offer anything new. You fool.
Uh, all right, there's Trista Station. I like going on into the radio area. Just chatting it up. There's never anyone here, but it's always great to end the evening with, uh, you know, I was hoping that I bunt into Misty. No, yeah, I was just gonna say, it's great to listen to Misty, but we never see who Misty is. Do you ever get to find out who Misty is? I feel like she's someone we know. It's probably Sarah. Anyways, Misty's been searching for material to cool everyone down during the show, so this might be your chance to have submissions used. All that you can cook on with the shop sales and food in is cheaper. The only problem is now those scumbags from the Imperial Chronicle Radio. They're always whining at us whenever anything happens, so we report a scandal. They start complaining about how we're inconsiderate about talking about it. I ain't got time to deal with them. If something needs reporting on it, then we'll be reporting on it. That's my duty. So it's always cheaper to cook than to buy food. I mean, I always buy the food first because that's how you learn the recipe. So buy one copy of anything new, right? But uh, Morty uh, after that, obviously. Start making it. I don't think I've ever talked to this kid. Rudy. Pro canceled on us saying something about his credits. Yeah, he's gonna have to try to graduate, kid. Let's see if the uh, pawn shop's got anything new before we start hanging out with a few more people. Oh, this is what you meant. Oh. Are we 85 hours into this game and I didn't realize you could exchange stuff for more things at the pot? Recipes, mostly new ones, are given to you by NPCs in the pawn shop if you missed them before. Okay. Well, I've, uh... So the coral bracelet to the coral ring, I'm guessing still does seal. But then also on top of this, we'll do strength plus five. Marble ring would do mute. Bracelet does ATS. Okay. Yeah, those evergreens, those were the big, those were the big things for Lloyd Bannings. Um, to have the, uh, Boy, some of these are expensive, though. Um. You can make them. I can make them? Oh, like, you mean, like, here I can make them. Yes, yes. I find like the U material is a lot easier to get in this game uh, than it was in the other. Well, Cross Crusade. I don't even have any of those to begin with. Okay. Okay. He doesn't have anything there. Okay. We'll come back to him again. We got lots of people to hang out with. So got you, we have three people to hang out with. We got to go visit, um, that's Milliam. Probably would hang out with her. She's good people. Uh, maybe Crow. Like no, no Elisa or anybody? Oh, there they are. Shiny Quartz says the evade buff. It's good to get one. Okay. Cat page. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, so, the, yeah, I don't think there's anyone here. There's just the houses, upper class dorms. The chapel might have something. Weirdos. I'm glad to see that you can make an instructor Makarov. Well, Mint's playing, so I can't exactly skimp out on this. Right now, she's just doing some final checks before the show starts. 
Oh, I'll 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 uh, I'll hang out with Emma. Sure. Yeah, I think I'm. I'll hang out with Emma, Alisa, and Crow. That sounds good. So I got three more left. No reason to hang around the club if I can't focus on what I'm doing, right? Let's take a peek. Wait, can we go in here? Yeah, I'm up for stuff like that. You share in the chat. You want me to do something? I'll do it. Absolutely. <laughs> Gotta get some good seats, though. Oh, no, no, no. Here come the nerves. Okay, mate. Deep breaths. <laughs> Don't let your fear of failure. Yeah, no, no, no. What happened to you? All I can do is leave the rest of them. Good luck. Well, if anyone could put his all into it, I can too. Hey, there he is. I'm kind of nervous. Well, is that easy to tell? There are quite a few people here, so I can't really help it, especially since I'm the lead violinist. Well, are we going to hang out with him? Absolutely here. Let's make you happy, Boris. Want a new show? <laughs> Make you happy. What? Well, you know what? I, I was. I said I was gonna hang with with. Uh, I feel bad because we didn't go and see this with Elliot. That'd be bad. So we got we got Emma, and I guess we'll do Crow. We'll do Crow. What show? Which one? This one? This one? This one? So I get I guess if we were to ask favorite waifu, Boris, Emma's Emma's the one. Best boy, best girl. Oh, well, that should do it. All that's left now is to wait until it starts. How long now? You're looking pretty confident, though. Huh? Well, I mean, I can tell you're nervous, but you look focused. Like, you just had a big distraction taken off your mind. Oh, you're probably right. I think that's thanks to last month's field study. Now that you mention it, a lot of good things happened to me while we were back in Heimdall. Got to meet some friends who ended up attending the music academy, and I got to talk to you about everything. Finally have the confidence I needed to stop running from my love of music. But I never would have gained that confidence if it weren't for you. You really are tough, aren't you? Good luck out there, Elliot. I'll be cheering you on for the rest of the audience. Just you wait. We're gonna put this thing on a show with all the grandkids about. And so began the Wind Orchestra's performance. I was just gonna say, please have it for me. That'd be terrible to go show up and it's like, and you left after the performance without showing it. Terrible. That was about due. I had to do it eventually, right, Cat? Well, gotta please the people out on the chat there. Hey, here you go. Oh! Oh, that was a great little wind orchestra. The passion captured the hearts of all who were present, and the performance was deemed a resounding success. Well, at least that's good. Hey, eat your break or your lunch. All right, let's go find Emma before I keep forgetting about people we're going to be hanging out with. What, there's new people hanging out out here now? Your tummy hurts again? Shouldn't hurt again, buddy. Ooh. Wow, I had no idea such delicious looking food existed. Thank you so much. It's going well, you know, four hours deep. Didn't even feel like, hey, 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 I got more unique dishes to offer. That double espresso. 
So, you know, you can take a little bit of the edge off or put more of the edge on. Nate, oh, here, ladies and gentlemen, Nate has just showed up. He's the new baker. It's time for us to wrap up the stream. Sorry about that. No, we would never do that. Nate, we're here. How are you? You just woke up. You can fast travel to the spot Emma's at. I do know we can do that. I always forget about it. So like, it's just never, do you ever get anything from those people? Like I keep offering these unique and shitty dishes to people and they never do a damn thing about it. All right. You can probably see Toa at the Academy. She probably has a couple extra things to do. Reading corner, nothing offered here. Oh, hello. Hi, sir. I took the time to read your report about the field study last month. You mentioned that one of the terrorists who attacked Heimdall used an artifact. It sounds incredible. I'm so upset that I wasn't able to attend the summer festival. I would have given anything to see someone using an artifact to bend a monster to their will. So you need more food. Yeah, you're damn right. You're playing Yakuza 3 on your projector. Well, that sounds fun. How big is your uh, is your projector? And is it also is it a 4K projector or 1080p? 75 inches. That's a big penis. That's a huge, huge penis. Wow. Not rich. 1080p. Yeah, for the. Those projectors, they are expensive, aren't they? Now, do you have a proper screen or you just play it on the wall, just throw it up onto a sheet? How does it go for you? Oh, that's right. The quest was for someone over here. It wasn't Toa. It was, uh, it was our friend here. Gone fishing, eh? Burl! Welcome to the Occult Research Society. What kind of fortune would you like me to tell you? Oh, health? Romance? You can give a little life advice if you want. Uh, no, I'm actually here because you had a request sent in. Huh. Don't worry, I'm well aware of that. You were sent by the student council. Now, do you have the one that you have to pull down yourself using your, your womanly powers? Or do you, have a, do you have a powered one where you hit a button and it goes, Boom! 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 And then every once in a while, I get stuck halfway. Maybe, maybe. You could have at least played along a little. You're not fun at all. Kind of fun. She's a strange one, but she's got the reputation amongst the girls as an uncannily accurate fortune teller. Screen is not loud. Okay, so it is powered though. It is powered. Oh, do you wish to know what kinds of rituals and curses are my favorites? No. Keep going. Didn't she just read my mind? What? No. Hey, she couldn't have. No. So I assume you've been informed about what I want you to do. She also looks like she just took off a hit from the Satan's anus in uh, Amsterdam. You want me to look into the Academy's seven mysteries, right? The sooner you can start. Are you ready to begin? Mmm, sure. I know a lot of schools across the country have mysteries like these, but I didn't know Thor's had a set of its own. Well, I'm glad I could give you the good news. It's become a hot topic among some of them girls recently. Would have never have guessed. To the maiden you need of them all and you will get something great. Okay. What? You said you wanted me to look into the seven mysteries. Does that mean you don't know what all of them are and you want me to find out what they are? Oh no, I know the basics of each mystery, but I'd like you to ask you each one and investigate how credible each one is. So is that something I'll really be able to investigate though? Like, I mean, if they're supernatural, just think of it as part of your investigation. If you can't come to any conclusions, so be it. But to be more specific, I'd like you to talk to the people most likely to know something about each mystery. I could do it myself, but I'm not exactly what we would call a people person. Alright. 
I think I got what you want me to do. Can you give me a head start by telling me what you want in each of the seven mysteries? Well, I think I told you everything at once. It might be too much of a horror to take it all in. So ask me about one by one and I'll tell you I know each one. All right, leave the investigation to me. So do I have to ask you about the first one? Oh, this will be a while. All right, the first mystery, the crying sculpture. This sculpture in question rests in the art room, used as a reference for sketches. But if you draw near, if you dare draw near, you can see tear tracks running down its face. Whoa, and what's more, the tears return after wiping them away. Rumor has it it's the tears originate from a human head contained within. When's the next Persona stream, Jordan? Oh wait, hold on, I forgot, hold on, hold on, hold on. I could have sworn I turned that on. I get to see if I turned it on. I didn't turn it on. I didn't turn it on. I didn't turn it on. Um. Probably will be next stream. I didn't fucking see, look, it's still there. Still, still, still there. Um, it will be the next stream. I'm just trying to think of when my next stream will be. I work Wednesday, Thursday. I gotta do something on Friday with my my brother-in-law and my father-in-law and my in-law. I gotta help, like, I don't know, I was asked to do some manual labor type of thing. Um, Saturday, I'm getting pictures done. I, it's a whole thing, and I think I have my nephew's birthday. So maybe one of those days, but I don't wanna just, like, scream out, like, Sunday, because that's, like, my only day if I ended up streaming beforehand. But it will be the next stream after this stream will be a Persona stream. I just don't know when, when. And, and I know that's what you asked. I can just say it's the next stream. How about that? Is that is that fair? Anyways, these sorts of stories always contain some kernel of... This seems like a very long side quest to do. Like, do I just ask about all of them? I did! It's a, so it's coming to Game Pass, which was already cool enough as it is, but it's also coming to Steam, which is where I will probably pick them up. I, I have Game Pass. I love Game Pass. It's great for Xbox, but I'm happy that it's coming to PC proper. Oh, where's Toa? Where's the drunk Toa? She's not even here. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. Friday during the day would be the only time we can watch. Friday night, we're busy. Saturday, we're in Michigan for a wedding. Sunday is Father's Day. Oh, I forgot Sunday is Father's Day. Tell you what. I don't know what time I'm doing something Friday, so we might have it Friday. If not, I will wait until Tuesday for you guys then. Cause I know you guys like seeing that, so I'll be I'll be helpful. Right. I've waited long enough again to start Persona 5. So yeah, if it's not Friday, if like because I don't know what time I'm supposed to like start this like manual labor type stuff, or even if it's happening still anymore. Um so if not, there would be one Friday. Um but if not, I will wait till Tuesday. Uh, normal stream time. How's that work? You love watching me chuckle fuck my way. Yes, okay. Well, I mean, who doesn't, right? I know. I know. I said I didn't know what time it started at. I don't know. Maybe not. Maki has trained me so well that I can confidently say I'm on par with anyone in the upper class rub. Is that what he said, rub? Is that what you said, rub? Oh, club. I heard rub. Can you mention that again? It said rub, didn't it? He's not going to say it again. He said rub. It says rub. Those are some awful pants. Yeah. Now you... Yes. Those are terrible pants. And I'm sorry that we even came about to bring them on. So, see you later. Oh, can we go up to the salon yet? I know we were already invited, but... 
I, I hate how it says no lower class student. I'm not a lower class student. I am of nobility. Oh, wrong way. I need to go back down some more stairs. Like, have you seen worse your pants, though? Than those soap dish? All right. We have two more points left. We have to hang out with Emma to make, uh, uh, worser. Okay. Um, to make Boris happy. Wait, yeah, worser isn't a word, isn't it? Worser isn't worse. I just... More worse? As worse? Yes, I recall the late 80s and early 90s. Yeah, see, I have some youngins in my chat who don't know of, of the horrors of the 80s. Wait, is she like in the courtyard? Is that where she's hanging? As worth. Hey, look, it's Mr. Neidhart. It's been nearly half a year since you all entered this academy. Am I right to assume you're all accustomed to it? How is it not right? As worse is not a word. Worser is not a word, but as worse or no, wait, is there, what about it's worst? No, have you seen worse? No, we're, I'll just slap myself. Oh, uh, thanks for holding off on the persona stream, by the by. We're getting pretty far in the game, and I'm excited. As but yeah, it's as okay. Have you seen worse pants? Wait, is that the is that the thing? Oh no, they invited Reen. Only Reen has no plans to go there. Emma is at the back side of the school. Would be the correct way to say that. Have you seen worse pants? Worser sir pants. Yes. No. I mean, I haven't. I hope you'll be able to perform full extent of your capabilities. That's all, you're just, I didn't even, okay, hold on. Are they planning something? Oh, they're planning. Why does he gotta wear a cape, though? The Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire pants. Wor, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. War he wears a cape because boner. War, war. I can't even spell it. There we go. The fact that we both typed that shit at the same time without saying to each other, right? No, I didn't want that, you idiots. No. Oh, God. I'm working on something here. Working on something. War, cess. Shire, uh, no, what? No, I don't want replacement. I want pronunciation. There we go. We're gonna get Worcestershire. Say that again. Worcestershire. So you don't even say like the Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Let's just make that slow for me for the slow people. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Just gonna let that one sit on the side there. The last thing we want is for any of you to sustain injuries. Okay, well, we won't sustain any injuries. Do you have anything to read in here? Not at all. Oh, you do. A book about the medals. We already read this. I'm an idiot. So she's in the courtyard, so let's go to the courtyard. There she is, just hanging, vibing. Hey, Emma, what's bringing you here? Oh, Reen, you wouldn't have to have seen Celine anywhere, would you? I've been searching all over for her. That's the cat, right? Well, I wouldn't exactly call her my cat. She was just with me a little while ago, and she bolted off like something caught her interest. No, I haven't seen her around recently. Sorry, no. Well... I probably shouldn't be too worried about her. She's a capricious sort, so not unlike Milliam. But she must have run off like a little cat somebody. What? Ah, adventures? Ah, are we being invited to adventures with cats? We should help her look. 
How about I help you look for her? After all, two pairs of eyes are better than uh, one, right? And she's wearing glasses, therefore we have six pairs of eyes looking for this cat. Thank you for volunteering. That's what we do. Searched high and low, checking areas where Emma felt Celine may be and relying on Reen's powers of detection. No matter how hard we looked, no trace of her. I think we're going to have to start looking in town, but that would take up even more of your time. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll keep looking until we find her. Hopefully she's really in town. I'm fairly confident she hasn't gone somewhere else at least, but we should still try to find her as soon as we can. Agreed. You seem a lot more worried about her though than you let on earlier. I guess you're just trying to convince yourself not to panic. The Worcestershire, the, the Worcestershire, 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 the Worcestershire pants. Why did I even call them Worcestershire pants? I don't even like Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. All right, let's start looking around. Just the look of concern on Emma's face just tells it all. It's a lost cat. Asking old senior citizens who probably can't even see three fart in front of them. What, three fart? Fart, foot? Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's got the worst pants too. Maybe this is like a commoner thing. Wait, are they making the commoners wear the terrible pants? Excuse me? I don't know. I don't know what we're saying around here anymore, Cat. I really don't. Well, she's not making this easy. Where did she just run off to? Celine, could it be? Is that? Someone's feeding her some milk. Celine, so this is where you were. Why did you run off all of a sudden? Obviously, someone gave her some milk, milk. Obviously hungry. See that are working on up a fur ball. Are these sardines? Sardines? Yeah, they're small dried fish. They're usually used in the east, mostly to make broth. You hear that, folks? It's just broth. They're not used as a pizza topping or anything else. Okay, they're just fed to cats in in Ohio, like the Midwest. Is there a mid east? Don't know. Um. That is the pawn shop. Where can we be seeing the nice outbreak? Yes. Because cats really like. Them. See, now I feel bad that you said that. Because he's mean to me. But you're telling me the pawn shop guy's a nice guy? What a nice guy. Maybe Mick ordered a few and gave her a couple as a snack. I love the. Uh, I love the little blue bow up at the top there. For a moment, I thought those two had... Those two? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Wait. Is there more than one cat? I don't know what I would have done without you. I'm happy we found her. It wasn't very nice, though, Celine. I'm not really worried about you. Celine, there's no need to be rude. <laughs> cats will be cats. Just give me a shout if you ever need anything help. All right. Meow. That was a really good one, Boris. Thank you for that. I am a cat guy. I have three cats. I'm surprised Charlie hasn't popped up. Oh, <gasps> did we get auto curia and powerful strike? Look at that. I know that doesn't happen all the time. Okay, well, now that we're here, we're going to go back into the pawn shop and see what this guy's offering. Still nothing different. Does his exchange ever change? Like, he never offers those books, right? They're always just inspect curios. All right, we got one free opportunity left. I talk to the cat. I think we're gonna hang with Crow. Stuff gets added as the story goes. Yeah, because I'm missing... Carnelia reprint three and four. I would like to get those.
Hmm. No. Quite honestly, Chelsea's already halfway done a bottle of wine. And Wolf Slayer's looking at that bottle of beer going, 20 minutes, man. 20 minutes. All right. Um. There we go. He is... In the lower class dorms. Not even here. What? You heard me. You know, for the whole five o'clock somewhere, cat. You know, they're, they're done. They have to work, right? During the week sometimes. I mean, I sometimes have to work during the week, but, you know. On the exchange, at least one accessory will be added with a great speed bonus. Fantastic. Wait, what are you doing here, Crow? Oh, yo, Reen. Left something here yesterday, so I came to pick it up. Oh man, I always forgot how much of a pain moving is until I have to do it. That's why I wanted to use my old room just to store stuff in. Wouldn't push your luck with that. Uh, there are more things I don't remember. Okay. Should I give him a hand? Absolutely. I mean, I don't mind giving you a hand if you need one. Oh man, I guess they were right when they said you can't be having a loyal first year at your back and call. Oh, and just make it clear. This is unpaid labor, I'm afraid. Don't worry, I wasn't expecting payment from the guy who conned me out of 50 Mira. I love how we still brought that up. Oh my god, the Worcestershire Shire pants! They're everywhere! Yo! Hey there! What's up, Crow? What's this I hear about you being a first year again? I heard worse. They kick you out already? Oh, come on, guys. You know nobody would ever want to get rid of me. He's already moved. Yeah, he is in the dormitory now. He's there with us. Show a little respect to the guy teetering on the edge of his second year, first year. You've only got yourself to blame for that one. I'm guessing this guy's a first year in your new class, Crow? Yeah, class seven. Wow, how about that? Let me give you a little tip. Never drop your guard around this guy. He'll be in your pockets the second you do. Hey, now, we don't want to give this guy a wrong impression. Trust me, I've got all the impressions I need by now. This is ridiculous, Crow. Hey, shut up and give me a hand here. This thing isn't going to carry itself. You could at least ask nicely. All right. Let's go get the rest of the crew to help us out with this. Uh-huh. Does he have uh, a lot of people at his beck and call here or what? Well, that should just about do it. Thanks for the help, guys. Hey, don't sweat it. Just make sure you pay back that money you owe me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, in that case, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for your help. And the second years have left the room. Despite that they're still in the room. Boy, they left in a hurry. Huh. Wouldn't have been able to move all that on my own anyway, so I'll be letting it slide this time. Surprised you got so many people to show up. You really do have a lot of friends, don't you? I've been here for two years now, right? Keep it up and one day you might be as famous as old Crow here. I think they like him as a friend because he can buy booze for them. Maybe, not yet, but soon. Maybe that's why they keep him around. I get the feeling that in order to be that popular, I need to be old Crow. All right, get your furniture, I'll say it again. Welcome to Class 7 Dorms. All right. You're all settled in. Good, good, good in the hood. Ah! So if I was to stop by the dormitory again... That's that's not the exit. I keep going through the kitchen thing. it's the exit. So it's going to offer the same things again as before. I guess the cat and Emma are still there. God damn him. I want that book, man. I need two books from you. You're being a jerk. All right, what do we got for uh, quests? There we go. All right, we got the old schoolhouse mystery. Not doing that one. Um, we're working on, oh, for God's sake, she's got like a thousand of them. All right, let's get those done. 
You need to exit at least 10 times in a row. Oh, right. Or wait for the next story thing would be my guess. All right, let's go to the art room. Let's get that. Because I'm sure if we start the Schoolhouse Academy, um, that's going to be the uh, advancing of the story. Music room, OMAC, art room. It's got to be this one. I'm pretty sure this girl's the head of the art club. Can I have a minute of your time? No, I'm busy. But my ears work, so I can listen to whatever you have to say. Go ahead, state your business. If she's going to keep working while I talk, that's pretty impressive. No, no, no. Oh, I'm actually looking to the Academy's seven mysteries, one of which is in this art room's crying sculpture. You wouldn't happen to know anything condensation. I'm sorry? Like I said, it's condensation. You have no idea how many people come by in here and ask about this. They're not tears, it's just condensation. Water vapor in the air. You know, big words scare you. <laughs> this woman! Who in their right mind would actually believe a sculpture could cry? I guess the world will never run out of idiots. <laughs> oh my god! From what I remember, you can go into the old schoolhouse, you just can't beat the boss. When you defeat the boss, the time changes. Okay. Which one? Which one? This one? This one? No. This one? Not not this one? What Humpty Dumpty? This one? She was harsh. I gotta say, really harsh. Is that it? Uh yeah. Thanks for the information. Oh, the only thing that sucks. Wait, do I have to go to? I, do I have to go? Can I go to Barrel and get all of the seven things without having to keep returning to her each time? Or do I have to keep returning to her each time? Although, what's the. There we go. I guess I could just keep returning there, right? Why am I an idiot? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Um. Yeah, because that's going to save a lot of time. Ah, tears are said to pour from a human head. Haunted piano. Late one night, a student walking by the music room heard someone playing the piano. Drawn by the sound, she took a peek into the room only to find it empty. They claim it's music-loving ghosts playing the piano in there. A ghost who likes music, that's all. A little lazy. At least give the ghost some elaborate, tragic backstory to explain its connection. Regardless, perhaps you could learn more if you head to the... Learn more from the head of the wind orchestra. I believe his name was Habel. Alright, so let's just go through them all and then maybe they'll pop up for me and then we can run through them really quickly. The Forbidden Tome. Academy's Library. The book is passed down from one library head to the next, all of whom are tasked with keeping it safe. Uh, please me to know that I have a partner in fascination. Just imagine if it were something about the fall of the ancient Zemurian civilization. How romantic. They're apparently in charge of the library as Instructor Thomas. Okay, fourth mystery. And like, do I have to like go around to talk to her to hand in like the first one or what? Their bodies are buried directly below what is now the field. Oh, there certainly is. 
said there's some cursed nights. The corpses of the buried rise from their graves and bathe in moonlight. And when they do, their long hidden graves surface from the field. All right. What do you mean by good? Regardless, the best people to ask about the field would be the members of the riding club. Lambert or Paula. Sports Club Grudge is the fifth mystery. It's uncommon to hear screaming coming from the general direction, but some say the screams can be heard coming from something else. The rumors say that these screams are a grudge of sorts and a manifestation of all that stresses sports club members face. That seems a little backwards to me. Working up a sweat should wash away your stresses. Only a select few would share that sentiment. I do have some... I don't know if you want to call it good news. Depends on who you ask. We have a tie again in the Discord. Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy IX tied again. Whew. It's going to be a good one. All right. No matter. It'd be wise to ask the captain of the fencing club for further details. I think her name is Friedel. No, I haven't paid much to this pond behind the gymnasium. More amazingly, they say a resident of hell, the Crimson Devil, shows up at the pond from time to time. Okay. Sadly, the only descriptor is two massive claws. Might be best to ask someone who fishes there often if you wish to know more about this mystery. I mean... If it comes down to a tie... I will be the tiebreaker. We already know what I'm going to pick. And it has a cool looking black mage. I am too. You have to remember, I will play all of them. So it's not like I'm just like throwing them all out there. I will play Final Fantasy uh, 9, 7, and... Fire Emblem. Um, I borrowed it from my buddy, so if, if, if I'm going to go off the judgment of how long I borrowed the other games off them, I'll probably have it for two years. But uh, no, we'll, we'll get into it. Like I said, if I am if I can find some time, um, maybe the the uh, the chill, exclamation chill streams that we used to have, uh, we it might be flown into that one. Never know. So wherever we can find the time, I'd like to put into it. What is Fire Emblem? Uh, Fire Emblem is a Nintendo game. Um, it's like a tactics game, I guess you could say. I've never played any of them. Um, but uh, I borrowed one called Fire Emblem Three Houses from a buddy of mine. Oh, sorry, what Fire Emblem? Uh, Three Houses, Three Houses, sorry. I have a problem reading sometimes. Three Houses, the one on the Switch. I heard it was good. All right, we have it all. Now, do I go around and now hand it in? N no. All right, so do I have to like do them all? Do I have to do them all? I'm guessing so. All righty then. So I guess we're just going to the gymnasium. Oh, I guess we'll go to the academy field first. We need to explore all the info and then go back. Wait, so I didn't do all the information for the art room? I could have sworn I did. Oh, I want to go to the art Jordan, you idiot. I'm going to hit the wrong button every every time, every time, every goddamn time. Okay, I want the main building, what, second floor? Sure. I'm going to go play the new Warriors one on launch. That does sound fun. 
Okay, music room, home ec room, art room. I thought I already talked to her and she t she gave me the whole spiel. All right, so I'm confused, Boris. So like, what's the what's the next thing I got to do then? Because we talked to her. She mentioned it's condensation. I'm the idiot. Okay, so, okay, so so I'm done this one. Oh, now the piano. Shit, where's the piano? Probably the music room, right? Probably not the music room. Oh, she, okay, second, uh... Second Mr. Hana Piano. High Bell in the Wind Orchestra. Oh, he was at, like, he was at, like, the church before, wasn't he? God damn it. Oh, I was like, why did I just like walk backwards? Is this him? This might be him. Alan, I don't want to talk to you. There he is. I think this is Highbell from the Wind Orchestra. Thank you, Boris. You're ever so helpful. It's ridiculous. I got a quick question for you. What have you heard about the haunted piano? Oh, that story. That's the one about the ghost playing the piano in an empty room, isn't it? Oh, so you do know it. What well, can you tell me about it? Oh, so you want to know the truth, huh? Well, as it turns out, the ghost was me all along. Whoa, really? Okay, calm down. Didn't mean that I'm actually a ghost, but the rumor started spreading because someone heard noises in what they thought was an empty room, but Pretty sure they just stumbled along while I was tuning the piano. Really? It's not exactly rare to end up totally obscured from view when you're turning certain parts of it. Chances are whoever heard that just couldn't see me. So I'm your so-called ghost. Right? Sorry, you were probably hoping for something a little bit more exciting. No, oh, not at all. Barrel might be thrilled though. So I have to do all of them and then talk back to Barrel after I finish the seven Jesus. All right, uh, number three. The Forbidden Tome. Nobody knows like in books like the instructor Thomas asked about him. All right, he's at the library. Uh, yes, the library, God damn it. There he is. All right. Hey, Reen, my boy. What sort of questions has you inquiring minds come up with today? Well, as it happens, I'm looking into something for a fellow student. Do you know anything about this forbidden tome supposedly locked away in this library? A forbidden tome? My, what a fascinating idea. Just imagine if it contained details on the sacraments of the ancient Zimurian civilization, or perhaps it could be a grimoire written by the Crossbellian alchemists of the Middle Ages. Wouldn't it be thrilling if one really existed? Yeah, sure. In other words, it doesn't. But what exactly inspired you to ask about this? I'm, you know, the Seven Mysteries of the Academy? One of them has to do with a book full of the world's greatest secrets. Huh? Ah, so that's what this is about. This your story is even more absurd than the one I heard last year, but I do believe I know what you're talking about. The title of the book left from Thomas. What does that say? Oh, Falcom's Diary, is that what you're saying? Or was it the other one? It says like, Christ, what's something air for it? Falcom's Diary. Seriously? Well, at least the forbidden part is right, but not because it's dangerous or anything, it's it's rather naughty. We tell you boys from time to time not to bring those sorts of things into the academy, but someone always tries. 
Boys will be boys, I suppose. This little tale started because we gathered the contraband before we dispose of it. Christ, who's gonna die first? I mean, I have the Christ and the it's either who or what. I mean, both of them are hilarious. Jealousy, are my eyes failing me? Is, is that the old thing, me? Looking how that... I mean, we can just interpret it, right? But don't make the old jokes. Well, if you happen to have a prize collection of your own, you should have leave it under your mattress back home. Boy, Instructor Thomas basically telling us that if you're going to have a 90 magazine, leave it under your mattress for the, for the fapping. Everything is failing you. Everything? Everything. I should perk myself up with another beer then, perhaps, right? All right, that's done. Um, oh my god. No, there we go. All right, uh, number four. The Hidden Graves. Paula spends a lot of time on the fielding ride horse, so we should talk to her. All right, that I know. No, 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 there we go. Nope. Paula, I am from Eusis's class. More like I would say Eusis is in class with me. And you're Paula. This might sound weird, but I'm currently looking into these mysteries surrounding the school. Have you heard the rumor they're calling the hidden graves? Oh, that's the one about the dead rising from the graves on the field, right? Lambert and I found a hole on the field a while back, but the only thing to come down to that was an exam with a bad grade. Seriously? Yep, seems like someone couldn't deal with getting a score that bad, so they tried to put their test six reg under. I can see Sarah reading these books in the teacher's room for maximum embarrassment. Yes. They didn't even bury it though. They just dug a hole and tossed it in. We filled it up since someone could have tripped. But with a grade like that, you could say the only grave our culprit dug was his own. Culprit, culprit, oh my God. Yeah, that joke was so bad, I can't even force myself to laugh. But that aside, thanks for the information. Okay. Can I hit the, the button just once, right? All right, uh, no, all right, sixth, sixth, right? No, five, sports clubs. Friedel's in the fencing club. Probably knows about these screams going on. Um, that's in the gym. I think she's the captain of the fencing club. Sorry to bug you. Can I ask you a question? Oh, no bother at all. Ask away. I'm looking into the seven mysteries of the academy. Have you, sp have you heard of the sports club's grudge? Heard it? Oh, people have been talking about it since I was a first year. Although I don't suppose it will gain much traction. Oh, why is that? Well, it's simple. Well, streams don't come from people. It's the door that used to be here. It was in bad condition for years and used to make those awful screeching noises. So, it's asked for a replacement. I feel like every time we get to the bottom of one of these, it's just an even worse explanation of the actual mystery. It's super terrible. All right, I'm grabbing another booze beer. Right. Cheers, friends. All right, we have uh, two more mysteries to do. Hmm. 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 No, nope. see, I can't. I can't remember what these buttons do. Any of them. All right. Um, Thor's mysteries. We are at the sixth one. Crimson Devil of Lake Hell. Ken's the guy. 
His last name is Lake Lord. Doesn't really say where he is. Where is Ken? Oh, he's probably by the pond, if I'm guessing, right? The pond by uh, the garden? Oh my god. I am running around like a crazy person. I really... Okay. There's... Okay, just go out the... Um, yeah, right next door. Look at that! I ain't so smart. Hi, Reen. Still fishing the good fish? I don't think that's how the saying goes, but I guess you could say that. It's actually something I could ask you about. You know, these Crimson Devil of Lake Hell ring any bells? Oh, that's one of the Rings Academy. Seven big mysteries, isn't it? It's the only one I know, at least, but seriously... Did anyone really believe this place to be connected to hell? Uh, probably not. But what's this Crimson Devil part all about? Oh, that's probably a crayfish. You see them around here every so often. Oh, that must be a crayfish. Talk to Vivi for a funny joke. I love funny jokes. Yeah, red things kind of look like crabs. They even have two big claws, just like the devil's supposed to. Wouldn't be surprised if a crayfish inspired the whole thing. Well, thanks, Ken. Let down again. Boy, I got a feeling for some double mint gum. Oh my mercy, did you clone VV or something? Wait, hold on, I can read, I pray. My and mercy me. Did you clone yourself, VV? How wonderful, now we can work twice as efficiently. Fake VV can tend to that flower bed over there and real VV can be in charge of getting the equipment ready. Oh, she's good. My flawless plan to have my way with Adele's body had a flaw. She seems so easygoing that you'd think she'd be easy to trick. But I guess I shouldn't have underestimated her. Vivi dragged me along so she could play a prank on Adele, but it ended up backfiring, and now I'm stuck helping them out. Why does this always happen to me? That was pretty good. All right, and finally, I did it right. I hit the right button this time. We have the final mystery. Uh, I can just scroll up. There we go. The seventh mystery is the poltergeist in the upper glass dormitory. Major, they're all our date, so I should ask them. If they let me. That's pretty good, Boris. I'll let you have that one. Pretty good. I guess, uh, I guess Monster Hunter this week is, is probably a no-go. Hey, look, it's a maid. Can you help me out? I can't think of a better person to ask about the upper-class dorm than the help. Excuse me, do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh, of course not. How can I help? So, I'm investigating the seven mysteries. There's one about the poltergeist in this dorm. Do you happen to know any truth to it? Huh, I do, in fact. Some of the more experienced maids told me all about it. I've even seen it for myself. Wait, you've actually seen the poltergeist? Oh no, not quite. Much simpler explanation between all this havoc. As the story goes, plates are broken and utensils strewn about the kitchen, correct? But these things happen when girls try their hands at cooking for the first time, so the kitchen can get very chaotic. This tends to hit its peak in May when more of them want to practice for their cooking classes. I think a poltergeist makes a far more interesting culprit than the people sharing the stories. Alright. So they thought it was a ghost throwing everything around when it's just these people just getting all crazy. Alright, in the end none of them turned out to be as spooky as I'd hoped, but I hope Barrow won't be too disappointed. All right, let's finish off the two. Well, what is the other side by side car? We will do the two side quests. We will not work on the old school mystery house today. Um, it's been a little too long in the tooth, but I'll get those two done. 
and then uh, we'll, we'll get into that. That way, like, as, as I've explained, leaves it a little open without being stuck into something. Um, so that if we're going to play uh, Persona or if we're going to jump on in between. Uh, that's the dorm for nobility, so it's the normal girls who can't cook. Ah, that makes sense. Are you, are you saying the uppy and, and mighty nobles Boris can't cook? Is that what you're telling me? They, they have expect. I mean, it's not a lie. I mean, even Elise has brought Sharon uh, as part of the Reinhardt family maid service uh, to help us out. So, well, yeah, let me go through them one by one. Oh, thank you so much, game, for not running through every seven with them. Yeah, condensation, magazines, a test. None of these are supernatural. I didn't expect any of them to be real, but the truth is even more pathetic than I thought. Yeah. Although it's kind of interesting that people were able to make such fantastical stories out of a perfectly ordinary thing. Huh? Still, I want to thank you for looking into everything for me, so a little something I hexed up in my favorite curses. Nightmare. What? What are you doing? What'd you come running here for? Can you finish your cheese? Finish your cheese. Finish your, finish your food. Can I have a goldfish? I mean, it is fitting that we just got a nightmare from Barrel, but uh, I'm a little surprised none of the mysteries had anything to do with them. Seems like the perfect setting for a good ghost story. Wonder why it didn't come up. I mean, we already know there are strange monsters in there. Uh. What are you talking about? Of course it comes up. In the real seven mysteries, at least. Oh, what? The, the real ones? And say a word. Perhaps your investigation has gotten to you. I just sworn I heard her say something about the real seven mysteries. Probably a better idea not to get into it. All right, we're gonna head on over to the car hole, garage as it's called. Meet up with George and Angelica to find out what they want me to do with their motorcycle. I think this is where it is. Indeed it is. It is working. It goes the other way. I pull this up. See? Okay. Wait, is this uh, is this Emma in here too? No, that's uh, that's Toa. No wonder they're all in on it. All right, let's uh, save the game first of all. Well, here you are. Hi, Reen. Thanks for coming. Hey, what brings you here, Toa? Just needed a little break from work, so I came along to help George and Angie. We asked her to come and help with our uh, request that we sent you. Oh, she's working on the bike too. Yeah. It's pretty much the same as last time, just with a couple of key differences. This time, we'd like you to ride with Toa on your side. By my side? Don't you mean behind me? Uh, maybe it would be easier to just show you what we're talking about. Uh, Nightmare Quartz is good to use as a 10% chance to inflict the nightmare on an enemy and it works with normal attack and crafts. It's a lower chance, only most attack work. So who would that be a good fit for, Boris? I'm gonna think we're gonna have a sidecar here. That's pretty fancy. Wow. Impressive, isn't it? We call this the sidecar. Never would've got that past me. Much like the bike itself, this was a rower instead of technology pro technology prototype that George put the finishing touches on. You can probably tell, but the sidecar lets other people ride along with you, or a dog or a cat, maybe. It was much closer to riding in an orable car than it is like being on a second bike. Pretty interesting. So you want me to do a test ride with Toa sitting in the sidecar? Yep. That means I'm in your care, Reen. Try not to crash or anything. Um, I think Reen or Fee as the two got a lot of crafts with big AOEs. Okay. AOIs? I think you meant E's? AOIs? Is AOI something different? All right, don't worry about that. 
George and I have already done all the necessary safety tests. The goal of this is just to get a fresh perspective, just like last time. All right, be sure to give us as much feedback as you can. And that goes for you too, Toa. All right. Oh, if I remember this correctly, they had us like, when did you want to shift? So there probably is going to be something I should probably be paying attention to. So uh, yeah, good call though. B or Reen. Oh, sorry, Reen. I'm always keeping you so busy. Don't worry about it. Okay, Logan. Okay, you want to put in daddy's room? No. Okay. Come on. No. 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 Pick up your food. Oh, no, no. You taking that with you? No, 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 I, boy, please not apologize. You know what's funny? Anytime anyone ever comes up and says English is not my strong side, they are far better than even myself, where apparently it's supposed to be my strong suit, and it is not. So uh, don't don't ever feel the need to apologize. You are, you are well-spoken in the English language. Well, thanks for worrying, but I'm fine. I got most of the harder work sort. I mean, have you seen me read any of these things that are coming up on the screen boards? I can't read if my life depended on it for me, okay? And it's in my my language. I like placing on fee things like Nightmare, uh, Petrify, and uh, Blind, stuff like that. Yeah, I do like having her because, like, um, she's a little bit of a support. Like, she makes everyone act quickly. She acts quickly. Um, which means like having her just do normal attacks where she might be able to petrify or blind someone just with or poison with a normal attack is wonderful stuff. All right, well, George and I are ready to go when you are. So let's figure this out. Let's start that testing right away. All right, so I should probably pay attention to what they're mentioning so I don't get anything wrong here. But I will get something wrong. So how does it feel to be in the sidecar, Toa? <laughs> it's exciting, but I'm a little nervous too. Perhaps some helmets would be great. Uh, with the Master Course, that drops more separate. You can get the bonus money on top. Yes. So would that Master Course be good to put on fee or just any? Like you said... I guess you could go on anybody, but I don't have the the the, the Mira at the moment. Knowing Reen will be driving puts me at ease. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Toa, please don't say things like that. It'll make me more envious than that. But I have no choice but to send Reen and ride with you myself. Sorry to cut you short here, Angie, but I can't let you do that. Remember, you chose these two for a reason. Ugh. Same test as last time. Starting the ride, shifting gears, coming to a stop. Does the sidecar change things at all? <clears throat> Actually, yes, it does. The main changes are the increase in weight and the center of gravity. These two things will have a huge impact on how the, the bike operates. I recommend you approach this as a whole new experience because it's going to feel like one. I never would have guessed. So what will you have me do? So basically... When the sidecar is attached, you end up veering off towards its direction while you're accelerating. So, by the same token, when you're slowing down, you'll end up veering off in the opposite direction. Alright, so accelerating, we're going to go in the same direction. Slowing down, we'll go the opposite direction. Let's change the little things for our test. Starting to move, we'll pull the handlebar to the left. Braking, we'll move it to the right. Be sure to turn it slightly right in advance to compensate. Next up, when you're shifting gears, you'll need to turn the handlebar slightly to the left when you disengage the clutch. Same goes for bringing her up to a stop. The extra weight means she's going to be harder to slow down, so be sure to hit the brakes earlier than you did last time. Right. 
In Dubai, we can use Elliot in cooking. Yes, yes, we can. Well, you should be fine if you pay attention to what you're doing. My advice to you, Toe, is to believe in Reen and focus entirely on enjoying yourself. You'll have a wonderful time if you do. All right. I'll be happy knowing you're having fun, and I won't want to make any mistakes and ruin that. Well, hoping this will be fun for the two of us. Let's see if I can forget everything that they just mentioned to us just now. All right, I'm going to start the engine now. Potato, 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 potato. This is all so exciting. All right, get ready. Angelica said I should turn the handlebar a bit when I should start moving, didn't she? Um, I want to turn the handlebar left. Oh no. I've already forgot. Like, I remember what she said. It's The, the bike is going to veer to the left. So I want to turn the handlebar a little to the right on acceleration, right? All right, I got it right so far. And off they go. Should be fun to talk to them when they get back. So how's it feel? Did it feel different when you rode alone? Oh, it definitely does. Angelica was right when she said we'd handle completely differently. And that's not the only thing. Oh, what else is there? Oh, uh, nothing. I was thinking of something else. Probably shouldn't tell her the big excitement of riding with her is a little hurdle than a sidecar. All right, I think we're both used to this speed now. Are you ready to go a little faster? Sure. All right, let's switch gears. Which way did I have to turn the handlebar while switching again? Well, so... It's only slightly, it's not greatly. So I think if we, if we're, if we're going slower, it's to the left. If we're going to go faster, I want to slightly to the right, right? Because it's going to, it's going to, I think that's what they said. It's only when we're slowing down, it goes the opposite side. So I would want to go the... Slightly to the right. Oh, so I wanted to go to the left. Nothing broken but my pride. But... Uh, that doesn't make sense to me when I'm thinking out loud of like, so if they said that if when you accelerate it's gonna follow the... the car. And then when we're slowing down it's gonna go the opposite way, so I thought if I'm going quickly it's gonna follow that, I would go to the... You don't have to force yourself to do things so quickly if you're not confident, okay? Just one step at a time. Well, he's really got to bury me like my chat does, too. It really does feel nice, doesn't it? Wind in our hairs. The view from here is great, too. It's more refreshing than I would expect it to be. Well, having you here with me makes it a lot more fun, too. All right, guess we're about done. Almost time for us to turn back, so I'm going to start slowing down a little bit. Sounds like it's time for the final test. So Angelica said that the extra weight with sidecar means I should take a different approach to slowing down, which was it I had to do. You had to slow down earlier. Uh, we, we're not dating, Toa. Um, it's, uh, we're just on a quest with her in a million, that's all. Uh, we need to break earlier than usual. But I mean, I guess you could count this as a date, right? You 
posted a picture in the Discord. I noticed some inconsistent spelling on Nisa's part. All right. All right, I knew you could do it. I had so much fun. And now we're gonna go the journey back? All right. That's Angelica's job, dating Toa. Yeah, probably. I don't know which way she sways. Well, it seems that things went well enough for both of you. I'm impressed you could handle it all with the same different hardware than the last time you rode. The question is if Jordan can spot it. You enjoy, Chelsea. Have a good one. Enjoy your uh, your, your weekend uh, over in Ohio, the make-believe Midwest of America. Thanks, guys. I get the feeling I could have done better, though. Yeah, I screwed up on the uh, on the shifting part, but that's okay. I had a good time. Enjoyed. Bye, all. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later. To the horny pig of Ohio, you go. <laughs> I mean, do you do you want me to bring it up on stream, soap dish? And then see if I can spot the difference. I think I should be able to spot the difference. We can do that just before I, I wrap it up. The fact that you trusted in me and were able to enjoy yourself kept me focused on doing a good job. All right. We make a good pair. Okay, I'll do that before we wrap it up then. Well, that finishes up the test. Back to the engineering building. I mean, we'd love to have a little bit more help in the organization of everything. Sure you have the time? Does Toa look like she has any more things to do? Of course, she's got no time at all for anybody, but she's always willing to help. Wait, Toa's going to the trade conference? Oh, yeah, right. I haven't told you. It's a screenshot of CS3, but there's nothing at all that could be spoiled unless you count Reen being in that. No, I don't count that. Uh, the truth is, the Imperial government requested I go for helping out the major players. As such, I'll be heading to Crossbell for the trade conference as an assistant to the... Now I'm trying to remember if I can remember her from that game. The Entourage attends the Empire's representative during the meeting, right? And you're assisting them? Yeah, I'll mainly involve helping out with paperwork and scheduling, I'd imagine. I don't think I'll be much help, but they did ask, so... Uh -uh. She's received a ton of job offers. Everyone's just waiting on her to graduate. The trade conference invite is the government's attempt to sweeten the deal. Unbelievable. Does that mean you're planning on moving into government work instead of the military? Oh, I still haven't decided yet. I'm kind of doing this just to broaden my horizons. And apparently all this is because of the trouble in Heimdall last month. The government took a real interest in how quickly and efficiently she evacuated all the citizens. Well... I'd say Class said it ended up doing more work than I could ever have. Even had help from Angie and Crow, too. Um, no, you can't. As Toa did not exist yet. I think the new Azure version did. Oh, okay. I, I was just trying to think of, like, maybe they would have mentioned her or something, but uh, that'd be nice to include her in. You did decide to enter the military. You make a splendid commander. And make a uniform small enough. All right, either way, best of luck. Be sure to get into another field study by then, so I'll be praying that things go well for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Starting to look a little bit too much like a sappy Tenmir novella. Let me step right on in there and keep you two from stumbling into a written fantasy. Well, now, now, asking questions will only encourage her. To change the subject, thanks for helping us. This is for you. Volcanic rain! All right, so what am I... What am I looking for on this picture, uh, Soap Dish? As we, uh, this will be the final thing we wrap up. Oh, of course, my phone starts ringing. Yeah, I've made my way through several of them, and now I'm just starting to get on to the rest. All right, you can come along to the faculty lounge. I will come on out. It's not going to take it out on anything if you don't show, but just a personal thing. All right, faculty lounge when I get a chance. All right. Um, the rise and fall of Toa the Evil. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let me, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we're trying to find here. Um, 
on the Discord? Is it on Chit Chat? All right, so let's uh, hold on. I gotta change this to my monitor and then zip this over here. So you guys can see it. Okay. So you're telling me we're we're taking a look at this picture. Uh, there's a word shown twice in the picture, but it's spelled differently. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Open original. Oh, it's the uh, same size. Nothing different. All right. Um, all right. So it's Sandy, Tatiana, and Valerie's room. That's Sandy, Tatiana. Valerie. Spell Valerie wrong. Is that it? What system is that on? I don't know what that is. Right there. I guess I do like the way Reen looks, though. Pretty cool. All right. That uh, was weird. That's the one. All I mean, yeah, it's the switch. Okay, they're on the switch. Why did did my Discord fail me miserably? Probably, it's like anything does. That's the map. Yeah, I know it's the map, but like on mine, it just says like out, right? But uh, yeah, um, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna meet up with Sarah, but uh, that's gonna do it uh, for the stream. That's my son is crazy. Uh, thank you all for tuning on in. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to think. Friday probably is a no-go. Don't know. Saturday, I'm pretty busy, so next stream might be Sunday, but I don't know for sure. Um, have an eye on the Discord if you are following there, um, or just have those Twitch notifications up for the next stream. Um, we'll either be switching between this or Persona. So, as always, folks, I love it. Thank you. Nice long one today. It's always good. So, uh, as always, it's time for me to say goodbye. And good night, Me. as Kenny Omega says. Bang. Bang. As my son likes to say it as well. Uh, yes, and don't forget the ay 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 out there, folks. Uh, we'll see you next time. As always, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.